What's going on guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today, uh, we are getting ready for the PSA show. I'm joined by uh, Soothing Lou. <clears throat> good, good. So guys, uh, <clears throat> we're going to hang out for a couple minutes before uh, we start the PSA show. Give you guys time to uh, move over to uh, the PSA Facebook page. How are you guys doing today? Yeah, we got a little bit of snow uh, today. Nothing too serious, so we were able to get out pretty quickly. It was good. Uh, you know, we had a, a lot of people uh, come by the booth and say hi. Uh, it was a great time at the show uh, this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> it feels like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, James Gottschall, hashtag S10 show. That's right, James. <clears throat> we up here, you know, J5's riding horses in the ocean when he said cruise i thought he meant a ship not a horse i was <laughs> yeah i know i know <laughs> he's gonna come back with he's gonna have a new helmet for every day of the week oh my god depending on his mood when he comes in without a helmet like j5 you gotta protect the merchandise <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh he posted a, a couple photos on uh facebook he also posted a, a video of him zip lining uh Lots of helmets, Lou. Uh, we've we've uh, uncovered that uh, Vintage Breaks has insured his hair since it's his, his most valuable uh, asset. <laughs> Safety. <laughs> you got to protect the quaff. <laughs> well, I mean, how much really does the helmet protect him, though, with his hair? Uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out when he gets back. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, what's going on, Daniel? Hey, Tim. Sam, are you a ninja? No, Tim. <clears throat> I am not a ninja. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I... Oh, yeah. I have a I have a couple tattoos. You know, you can't see them with all the long sleeves, but um, yeah, I have a couple. He's got enough hair on his head to make a helmet. Adam, I'd love to see J5 make a hair a helmet. That'd be great. <laughs> what's going on, Dalton? Donald, what's going on? What's going on? <clears throat> so, uh, yep, we're just getting ready for the PSA show, guys. <clears throat> as soon as we're live on PSA's Facebook, uh, you should mosey on over. Tim Mag, what's going on, Tim? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Perfect. Yup, sounds good. <clears throat> uh, the week before the show, I was I was pretty sick, uh, but I kept coming into work, and they just had to keep sending me home. They were like, "We appreciate your effort, but you need to go home right now." <laughs> Especially the day where he came in and looked like a surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we had someone else go home sick yesterday, too. Uh, 
Right, right. <laughs> she likes to <clears throat> Tim, have you heard about the new uh, Walking Dead VR game? It sounds uh, pretty cool. <clears throat> Yeah, I think so. Uh, I haven't kept up with the show as much. I keep up with, like, you know, every... Uh, uh, the comics, the games. Just not the show. I haven't been able to keep up with it. Still here. Show? Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> when, uh, when he fake died under the dumpster, I was, uh... I was like, oh, that was when I was, like, really into it. And then when he actually died, I was like, all right, you know, I'm kind of, kind of done. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I felt like they uh, started to get a little lazy. I have, I need to look into it. Yeah, Tim, it looks really good. VR is coming a long way from uh, where it first started. Can we switch over to the PSA show? I think so, Donald. I think... It's, it's on. Perfect. Uh, we are live on the PSA Facebook page. Yes. So you can go ahead and switch over, Donald. Tim, you have a good point. <laughs> you know what kind of people say they aren't ninjas? Ninjas. <laughs> it's like the first world of Tim, I'm like, I'm like a casual ninja. Like, I do it when I'm bored, you know? <clears throat> Let's pull up the uh, Facebook so we can see the chat. Good stuff from your break. Oh yeah, absolutely. We actually have two uh, cool packs for you to pull. Right now? Uh, if you want to break them for the... John's watching. Absolutely. J5. Honestly, but like where though? From a tree? <laughs> From a plane? He's skydiving. No, he's skydiving right now, isn't he? He's probably skydiving like this watching freaking our, sh our show. Oh, <laughs> John, if you're watching, don't drop your phone. <laughs> I'd love to do a call in. Oh man, yeah, John. Actually, I changed that. If you are skydiving, just call us from your phone. Yeah. Oh yes. Uh, there's one. We'll definitely do that for the show. Okay. I wonder uh, if his. Uh, this, this one I have to find. I wonder if his coverage is good up from all the way up there. I've never skydived. Right. <clears throat> I've all yeah. I've always uh, been interested in it, but I haven't. Uh, you know, I haven't like had the. Another word for bravery, but uh, courage. Con courage. Yeah, the courage. courage. Yeah. Right. Chef is uh, chef's at Benihana. Well, good for chef. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I always wanted to be a race car driver, and I feel like when I'm on the highway, you know, I just I go a little too fast, <laughs> too furious, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That sounds fun. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have to check that out. Definitely. <laughs> Let's see. Chat here. What's going on, Mark? How you doing? Lucas, thank you for the watch party. James, thank you for the watch party. Daniel, thank you for the watch party. Scott, what's going on, man? Dave, what's going on? James Ector, the threat. <clears throat> Gary, Nate, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> uh, Layton's just getting ready in the background. You know, since John isn't here to hog the uh, the powder room, you know, the our, we have a makeup uh, room now. Uh, 
oh he he lives in there lou he like he has a bed in there <laughs> like it's it gets bad <laughs> Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, let's see. Uh, I can definitely do that. <laughs> let's see. <laughs> People are speculating that he's gonna take the horse home with him. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, guys. John, wonder, wonder John riding name, a horse. Wonder what he would name the horse too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> Be it socks on. <laughs> what's going on, Doug? Mark, how you guys doing? Matt Kirby, what's going on? Donald, I see you made it to the PSA show. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> there it is. No, you could be a chef at Benihana. Uh, I don't know, Tim. You know, I I retired from the cooking game. <clears throat> um. Oh yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I was a uh, head chef uh, before I worked here. Yeah, yeah I. Uh, it was just you know I didn't like the hours. I didn't like not being home. So. <clears throat> office job. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you for the tag, Todd. Appreciate it. Heather. Big John's here. That's... Guys, we're at 53 right now. So if everyone starts a watch party and everyone gets one viewer, we'll hit 100. Easy. Exactly. Everyone who's, uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, we have about 14 people watching on our Facebook and YouTube's respectively. If you guys come on over to the PSA show on Facebook, you could get into some awesome giveaways that we're going to be doing today. That. Yeah, that's right. And the only way to get that hundred dollar break credit is if we uh, get all get together and get to a hundred viewers. <clears throat> Donald Donald's won a couple break credits before. Can't hear Lou if you aren't here. Alright guys, it's been a while. Okay. They should be able to hear you. We haven't changed any of the settings. <laughs> That's true. How was the Philly show? Tim, it was good. Uh, we got to meet a couple people. Uh, we got to play craps. <clears throat> uh, we had a great time. I bought some uh, Ronda Rousey uh, collectibles. I'm a, a big Ronda Rousey fan. I got a figure, a pop, um, s some autographed cards coming in the mail. Like a, w, the WWE figure. Hmm? like a WWE figure. Like a WWE figure. Yeah. Okay. Oh, nice. oh uh, me, J5, Layton. <clears throat> uh, I was up the first two nights, and on the final night, I crapped out. Yeah. <clears throat> I had a good run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, it wasn't too bad. I think J5 actually walked away with a little more than me. Which was surprising because he's a mush, you know. <laughs> that is a very good point. Uh, so next week will be normal Wednesday, and then after that, it'll be uh, two Mondays in a row. Okay, okay. Uh, we'll definitely put... Yep, and we'll put it on our break calendar, guys. That way, uh, if you look at our break calendar regularly, uh, you'll be able to see the change in schedule.
Nice. Guys, the, the year's done. It's incredible. I can't... I, mean, I don't even understand where it went. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. <coughs> All right, All right, guys. Uh, Layton should be on shortly. We have packs ready for him to break. Willingly. Is that your water or my water? Oh, that's mine. <clears throat> uh, I'm sure. It's okay, guys. Don't be shy. <laughs> Absolutely. So did you? And I'm assuming you enjoyed it since you did it twice, James. <clears throat> uh, tell me about it. Do they have like a professional jump? Like, are you like strapped to a professional, or like do you jump and like have your own parachute? Like, how does it? Okay, okay. Because <clears throat> I assume if you jump by yourself without someone. Uh, you have to sign a waiver or something in case you know you don't pull the ripcord in time. <laughs> oh, that's right, right, right. Okay. Cool. All right, Lou. I'm gonna uh, give this over to Layton now. Thanks for uh, hanging out. Where's the gum archive? Uh, it's right under this table. Oh, right. Yeah, I know Mikey would be beside <laughs> himself. I'm just looking out for Mikey. You know? <laughs> Hey, good afternoon, Lou. Good, how's everyone else doing this afternoon? Julie's like, I didn't know that uh, J5 is so adventurous. And I said, you know, to be honest with you, I've known John for, you know, quite some time. I don't know that it's him. I think it's Jade. And I think Jade, she, take, she takes, I don't want to misspeak like jujitsu or something. I think it's more of like, uh, John, this is where we're going. And John's like, that sounds great. Absolutely. Um, it looks like he's having a great time out there. I'm only concerned that he's going to think so much of his big melon that when he comes back, he's going to require that he wears the helmet on, on, like, on camera. And unfortunately, like, you know, they come to see his hair. So it's like it's real, a real dilemma. We're gonna... I think so, too. Yeah. I feel like, you know... Um, what was the uh, uh, Studio 54? And they have some, you know, crazy snippets from that movie. Like, I wonder if J5 is just going out to the club, you know, like twice a week, Friday, Saturday nights. Like, from here, we think his night ends 9 o'clock. He goes home early. No, the guy's out till 5 30 in the morning. Does the same thing on sun uh, Saturday and recovers on Sunday. And on Monday, he's like bright eyed and bushy tail. We wouldn't even know, you know anything of it. He probably does have a burner phone, to be honest with you. He's, he's tech-savvy enough to have that. Um, welcome, everyone. This is the Vintage Breaks PSA show, and if you're not sure who we're talking about, it is none other than the beloved J5. He is in parts unknown right now on a ship, as, as Sam likes to say. We thought he meant like a big vessel. We didn't realize he was getting on a horse in the, in a water, in the water. We thought a ship meant a big, you know, a big vessel. But, you know, obviously, from now on, we'll be confirming everything with J5 in detail. Uh, J5 Travolta. I love it. Um, hey, listen, you know, Travolta's getting a little bit older. He needs, like, the next, you know, reincarnation of him. And maybe they just met at a club, probably, right, late one night. And, uh, you know, J5, that's where, you know, that's where J5 gets his business done. 
I'm not sure, but uh, you know, I won't be considering that in the in the, in the near term. But uh, you know, who knows? Maybe if I can get to go on a cruise on a horse, I would consider shaving my head. <laughs> um, so anyway, folks, uh, welcome. This is the Vintage Breaks PSA show. Um, if you are not familiar, uh, we give away approximately, oh, I don't know, at least seven prizes every week, sometimes more. Um, this week, we have a fun promotion planned. We're going to give away seven prizes, and we do so in a participation promo fashion. So what that means, we're looking for folks to jump in the chat, specifically on the PSA Facebook page, which, of course, you can find that at facebook.com slash PSA card. And we're looking for you to tell us about a card show you went to last weekend. Maybe you opened a prison box at your local Target in the parking lot and you couldn't believe what you pulled. Um, you made a trade with a neighbor. Really anything having to do with collecting uh, whatsoever. Uh, we'd love to hear about it in the chat. Um, today we're going to give away seven prizes including a $100 break credit to VintageBreaks.com. The six other prizes are going to be pretty cool. They're all going to be a pack of in this Prism Blaster 2019 basketball box. Lou, I know you're not much of a modern hoops guy, but this is all the latest rage right now is the is the new Prism basketball, possible Zion rookies, um, Morant rookies, Rui, Hero. I mean, there's the, the draft class is great. So what's nice about this is you generally get at least one autograph or memorabilia card on average per box. So one of the six, you get one of those. Hopefully it'll be a Zion. We'll see. Uh, and of course, um, if we do hit 100 live viewers on the PSA show, I see right now we're about 77, which if I'm not mistaken is Luca's number, right? 77, yeah. Can't escape Luca these days. He's everywhere. Um, so uh, if we hit 100 people, we will give away an additional $100 break credit following our show. Uh, Sam, what time should we cut off the names today so we can break this box? Six, uh, 5.15 or 5.20? Uh, I think... Uh Great, so we're going to cut off the names today in the participation promo at 515 so that we can get the names together, random them off, and then open this 2019 Prism Basketball Box. Um, before we open our first pack today, uh, I wanted to tell a story about the show this weekend. Uh, we had a lot of fun down at the Valley Forge Convention Center. Uh, most of the, the fun that we had may have actually happened at the craps table, although none of us... I don't, did you win any money in the end? Uh, in the end, no. Yeah, you're like, no, definitely not. <laughs> so, yeah, I did not win any money in the end, but we had a ton of fun. And we also saw Sir Charles Barkley leaving uh, the casino. Yes, we did. And I was really bummed I didn't have an 86 clear basketball uh, Charles Barkley on me because if I did, I definitely would have hit him up. Terrible. But he, he kind of had like a little bit of an entourage. You know, he gave one of those, like, how you doing? Um, but no one really approached him. Uh, but if I had a card, I definitely would have. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I was there. What did you say, Lou? Former secretary. Oh, most definitely. Oh, yeah. And it, but like, understand this. I, you know, I get the whole business. So, for example, if I thought like right away he was uncomfortable, I'd say, "Could you do me a favor? You could sign it to my son Crosby." And then a lot of athletes know that that's kind of the sign as to, "Hey, I'm not doing this for the money," meaning personalize it. And so, you know, to me, it's it's that's what it's about. It's not to get the Barkley to re to resell. Which, to be fair, I don't you know I don't judge. But, but for me personally, it would be about the experience, um, being able to tell the story and share that with Crosby because I have no intention of selling my near or my, you know, my starter uh, 86 Fleer basketball at the sign set. But I know Barkley's one I need, and he doesn't sign publicly very often. So that's why I was surprised he was there because I don't think he was signing. Yeah, I don't think he was on the show's roster. Oh, uh, he's, a, he's a big guy. No, no, you, you don't often know. He's, he's a big guy. Um, I saw him in a restaurant a few years ago when I used to live in the city, uh, you know, just eating with a very nice uh, female friend. And uh, once again, I did not have an 86 clear basketball card on me because if I did, I probably waited till I would have waited till dessert. But nonetheless, I would have still hit him up. Um, however, this is who we did come across um, at the show. I'm not sure if you're familiar with the movies, um, a, Chris, a Christmas Story, The Toy, or Kidco, but Scotty Schwartz, known as Flick, uh, right there, uh, he signed it, um, a photo to the Vintage Breaks crew. Pull the massive hit. I triple dog Daria, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, and so we actually opened a pack together, or uh, excuse me, a 2018 um, pr uh, Prism Blaster box uh, where we did actually pull a base Luca card. Um, and it was crazy. So he comes on over, and I'm like, oh, you know, you don't have to bring your dog over to the like to open the pack. He's like, no, Miss Elizabeth comes with me everywhere. And I'm like, Miss Elizabeth. And I'm thinking, you know, like I watched wrestling growing up. 
I don't see her. I thought she had passed away, but if she's here at the show, like I'm absolutely game to open a pack with her. And then I quickly realized there is no Miss Elizabeth that I knew. There was Miss Elizabeth, I think it's a Chihuahua, is his Chihuahua. So so she was on the show and we had uh let's just say, you know, we had some action going on. We were opening packs, talking to Miss Elizabeth and um you know, it was interesting to learn because I, I really, I've known Scott for a long time, but I did, I did not know this. He was most proud of Kidco, uh, which was the third of his three movies, where I think he had a little bit more input, um, and he felt, you know, very proud of that picture. So I was going to check it out because I've actually never seen it. Um, yeah, he did um, Christmas Story, um, The Toy, uh, and uh, that, that was with Richard Pryor, and then uh, Kidco. Yeah, so, but I mean, I know he's most well known for that. Oh, yeah, he knows him. I forgot his name. Yeah, I didn't uh, I didn't see him at the booth. Um, but, uh, you know, nonetheless, uh, you know, Scotty had a bunch of people coming up to him and talking. We're going to try to grab a uh, bite to eat tomorrow for lunch. And uh, he's in Jersey for one more day. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that was kind of fun meeting him. Uh, we were about to open a 1975 Topps football wax pack, and even though I know this is a show about all, uh, excuse me, a show all about breaking, um, I was going to wait till after this, but I realized, you know, I could talk forever, and I want to make sure we get this in. So I was pleasantly surprised. I'm not sure if any other, um, you know, parents, cousins out there have yet talked to nieces, nephews, sons, daughters, etc. Um, but we're no longer going to put a limit on it just because we didn't get that many. But with, of the ones that we did, I opened one. And we're going to open another one online, and I don't want to show the address. So this one is from um, Paisley Wise. And I know that Heather and I think some of her family members watch the show. So, uh, yep, uh, this is adorable. Once again, uh, any kids that send us letters up to a couple days you know, before the holiday season really gets underway, meaning with Christmas and Hanukkah, uh, we're going to send you out a care package. So uh, this one, to the best I could read, says, I do gymnastics and school. I have some cards from the 80s. I would love to receive older cards. Paisley. That's adorable. And there's a little picture on the outside here, which I think is Paisley and her mom on a sunny day under a purple sky, which I thought was really cute. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so we're certainly going to get a package out to Paisley, and then I thought this was adorable. I'm not sure if this is uh, her brother, but this is Judson. And this one I didn't open yet, so we're going to open on camera. Oh, this is adorable. So, so it looks like it's his family playing soccer, and the red team is winning 17, the blue is 8. Ironically, uh, red is Crosby's favorite color, blue is mine. So it looks like I'm losing, but that's, you know, that's usual. Uh, so that's a nice little picture. So check this out. So how adorable is this? We'll read this together. I love to play soccer. Soccer is the best sport ever. And I appreciate the fact that, although he hadn't heard of whiteout yet, he, you know, he had spelled best wrong and just rewrote it. Um, I love to collect baseball cards. Wow, you have a card from 1963, Judson. That's impressive. Um, would love some from the 50s. Wow. Hi, John and Layton. That's adorable. Uh, your videos are the... Oh, your videos are the best. That's adorable, Judson. Uh, Judson Wise, congratulations for uh, getting that letter into us. We'll make sure that we get you and Paisley a nice package out. And for, like I said, any other um, sons or daughters of, you know, fans of the show, nieces or nephews, cousins, etc., please have them send in a letter, of course, with your cooperation, and we'll get a package out to them for the holidays. Uh, that was adorable. Um, great. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, I don't have a lot of vintage soccer, so I'm going to have to improvise. Um, all right, so let me... Uh, I don't know. I mean, the vintage soccer I think about now are the guys playing today, you know, where the rookie cards were 10 years ago, because I know they're really desirable, you know, like Messi and such. Um, okay, pack four. So uh, Paisley and Judson are watching, and they say hi. Um, yeah, I generally can't either. Um, but this is adorable. So Paisley and Judson are watching right now. Um, and I said, hi, I really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in uh, with your mom and or dad or your family. Um, we have a lot of fun here in Vintage Breaks, and I hope you're having a lot of fun collecting, and you have a wonderful holiday season. 
Yeah, this is a lot of fun this time of year. Okay. In this pack, there's uh, some potential uh, great rookies. Um, Joe Theismann, certainly one of them. Kenny Stabler's a couple years earlier. Uh, let me think about who else is seven. Oh, Dan Fouts rookie is in 75. Um, give me one second here. Yeah, it'd be great to give away for the holidays uh, four times in the randomizer. We, of course, are going to give away a $100 break credit uh, at about 520 or 525 today at the end of the show, uh, no matter what. And you have a chance at that as long as you participate in our show today, the Vintage Breaks PSA show. Oh, that's great. Three. I wonder where Billy's from. All right, Scott, you're going to get the first card in the pack. Eric, you're going to get the last. Good luck to all in the break. <laughs> oh, just the T206 Cobb, not the one with the rare tie Cobb back? Oh, no, no, we'll get that out for you, no, no problem. Uh, okay, so that's the local recording. I can hear John yell at me from Tibet or wherever he's at. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. It's like he's causing muscle memory. He's, he, it's working. Uh, okay, so let's just get the uh, list of the team. I'll be good to go. Uh, Nick, not uh, right now, but we can answer the phone at the end of the PSA show, which will be about 5.30. All right. Scott, you have the first card. <laughs> All right, so that is the first card right underneath the gum. <laughs> it's pretty funny. No, definitely not. Are you kidding me? He's intertwined uh, in both businesses very heavily. Okay. Good luck, all. Oh, Billy from Kansas. Very cool, Billy. Glad you're uh, tuning in. Thanks for watching. Larry Little, Hall of Famer. Very sharp card. This is a 10-card pack. Set chock full Hall of Famers, some great rookies as well, as I was mentioning earlier. Spot two is going out to James G. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, spot three. Now, was Dan Pastorini a good quarterback? So I've definitely seen his name in a bunch of cards, but I don't know if he was any good or not. I mean, I would have said Andy Dalton a few years ago, but not really right now. Okay, sure. That's pretty solid. Sure. Well, we got a really nice, uh, really nice pull right here, Lou. Um, we got a Terry Bradshaw. Unfortunately, it's wickedly off center. Is that what you folks say in Boston? Wicked? That's true. Well, it's wicked off center. I try. I really am trying. It is a nice. It is a nice card. Unfortunately, probably be like a nine OC, uh, Brian B. You know the uh, PSA game pretty well. Hello. Oh. Hey, what's up, Mark? What's up, Matt? Thanks for joining us. We're gonna try to. Uh, get Scotty Schwartz to sign a few more photos for our Vintage Breaks fans as Mikey uh, I think he's already given them all away
Stephen Garrett says Mitch Trubisky, but I mean, I, I know people are pretty down on Mitch Trubisky these days. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Tim. Hope all is well, but I appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, it looks like Kirk Cousins is... Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I just mean the Vikings are definitely heading in a much better direction than the Jets are right at the moment. And, you know, oh, this is a Hall of Famer. This will be pretty well centered. Chris Hamburger, former linebacker for the Skins. Yeah. What do you think about the Pats up there? Are you down on them like everyone else is? I remember that. Sure. Look what happened. Anything's possible with Brady is the way I look at it. Absolutely. You know, we didn't get any of the big rookies, but we did get several Hall of Famers. Larry Little, Bradshaw, two, Hamburger, three. It's not bad. Three out of ten for Hall of Famers. So I wanted to do a, uh, a guest that gum today, Lou, and uh, I thought it'd be fun to do by giving away a few exhibits, which are very popular here on the show. So we're gonna give one person a pair of exhibits from the forty-seven to sixty-six series. We're gonna give a Johnny Pesky, and I figured you'd be able to tell a story or two about why they call it the Pesky Poll up there in Boston. And Gil McDougal, although he wasn't a Hall of Famer, he was a, a beloved Yankee and on many really great Yankee teams. Pretty cool. Sounds like he loved it too, though, being doing that. Yep. I mean, something I know is something absurdly low. It's pretty cool. I mean, listen, uh, if you're able to do that well. Uh, you know, you can make a career out of it, which it sounds like is what he did. Um, that, that's a pretty cool story. I'm glad to be giving these away today. Uh, David's first time tuning in. We appreciate you uh, checking us out. Glad you're enjoying it. Yep, Chad, I had no choice. And welcome, Rick. So we're now going to choose our guest that gum for today. Oh, we have some interesting ones here. Mm -hmm. All right. First person to guess only on the PSA Facebook feed. We'll get both of these exhibits. I'm now taking off the tag. First person to guess, just the year. We won't torture you with the sport. Just the year. First person to guess the year of this gum, which I guarantee you we know because we opened the pack right here at vintagebreaks.com. I wish I didn't know so I could guess too, but unfortunately I'm, I'm kind of skewed. That's pretty cool. I didn't realize that. Just like regular everyday people. Um, that's kind of fun. I'll toss Crosby up there one year if we can get down there. Um, Chad Thompson is correct. He guessed 1977. This was 77 Tops football. Well, it doesn't even look that half bad, actually. My ha I am pretty hungry, but I'll probably still hold out. Um... All right, so uh, Chad, let me just make sure I got you right here. Chad Thompson, if you do not have your information, please email Sam at VintageBreaks.com. We'll make sure we take care of you. Congratulations. It's a nice pair of cards there. Yeah, so it's fluttering 70s, low 80s. It's uh, great. We appreciate everyone's support. Be 
great. Uh, Travis, the 72 Tops basketball set break sold out last night. Excuse me, that will be breaking tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern Time on YouTube.com slash Vintage Breaks. Not today. Not today. <laughs> uh, okay, 276. Yeah, we appreciate it. I was going to wait a few more minutes, but yes, I'm very happy. doesn't mean it was a good move. I'm just happy the Yankees have a good pitcher. Yeah, definitely. That Well, exactly. That's just the way baseball is. Totally agree with you. Yeah, hopefully you can. Yeah, I'm real excited about it. I know a lot of folks are here, too. Then, of course, you have the folks on social media are like, oh, you know, he gets amount, this amount of money per pitch, this and that. And, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you don't have to watch the games. You know, meaning if it bothers you that much, you know, just don't watch. But it's just part of the game. Yeah, exactly. We got a yo, 11, on the craps table. Um, J5 was funny, man. When when we would when you know roll out the seven and we would lose, he would like literally lean on Sam's shoulder to cry. And you know other people you'd think oh they're just you know a little bit flustered. Like J5 was waiting for this moment to seize. I don't know you know what he was gonna maybe do on vacation differently if he had one big, but I, I think he had some intentions. I do. Um, all right. Exactly. exactly. All right, we're going to randomize this list 11 times to everyone in the... Uh, it's actually just Jim and James G. Uh, looking for a Don Mattingly rookie, who, of course, just uh, was not elected to the Hall of Fame. Uh, Ted Simmons and Marvin Miller were. What would you think about that, Lou? Sure. Is there anyone else who just missed that you really wanted to see in, like Sweet Lou or Munson or, you know, Donnie Baseball? Know. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you'd like, but, you know, that's that's what I thought when I was a kid. Um, yeah, no, Matt, I don't I don't see you first, but I see uh, Chad uh, T. Uh, it is what appears on our side, so I apologize to anyone else who thought they guessed first, but it's what we see on our end first. Uh, we, of course, will be running more promos in the future, so don't worry about that. You have ample time to get in. No, they don't. I like that they, I wish that they would. Yeah, Jim, I agree with you. I, um, so Jim E., who happens to have most of the spots in this break of 84 Donruss, said he'd like to see uh, Whitaker in the Hall of Fame. Um, I wouldn't mind. You know, I uh, I, mean, I think he was one of the better ball players. you know. But Jim, you have all the spots in this except for the last, which should go out to James G. He was a good player, but maybe not a Hall of Famer. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how my dad would say it to me as a kid. He's like, oh, yeah, that guy was, he was a good ball, good ball player. 
not a Hall of Famer. <laughs> sure. I would have uh, I would have liked to see Dale Murphy get in. I think he's a super nice guy. Doesn't mean he's a Hall of Famer. I understand, but he did put up really good numbers. Sure. So it looks like all the uh, numbers are put on these backwards, but all good. I would I would imagine. I mean, maybe they did, but I didn't know. Sometimes people do things with grief that, you know, doesn't make sense. So maybe that's what happened. Matt, all I can tell you, bud, is that, uh, you know, I want to make sure we address it. Don't think we're ignoring you once again. But I, I understand you could be frustrated. But, you know, it's what we see on our end. And, you know, maybe it wasn't on Facebook. It was on YouTube. But it's it's what we saw. We do apologize, but we'll make sure we take care of you in the future. Tune on in. We'll have some more promos, I promise. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I wasn't familiar with it either. Yeah, I feel like the, you know, Harold Baines is like, uh, you know, what's dividing uh, basically like Hall of Fame politics. Oh, I mean, I mean, it's not not popular with me. Meaning, I think Craig Biggio was a really good ball player. But when you say to me, was he even like the top ten of the time period? No. You know, he just he played for a long time. He, he accumulated a lot of stats. Um, did he ever win a World Series? I'm not sure. No, I don't lost, think so. Lost in the only chance. Yeah. But he does have three thousand points. Yeah, players aren't really doing that today, that's for sure. Well, here we go. Rock Reigns the Hall of Famer. What do you think about that? Tim Reigns being a Hall of Famer. I thought he was a good ball player. I mean, I agree. You know, like I said, uh, for me, Lou, growing up, my dad always told me, whether it be he was right or not, I don't know, but the hardest Hall of Fame out of the four pro was definitely the Baseball Hall of Fame. Yep. Oh, I mean, it's funny because as much as I like Chili Dog Davis, do I think of Chili Dog Davis in the Hall of Fame in the same sentence? Not even close. See what we got next to open. Folks, it's about 510, so what we say at 515 or 520 is uh, uh 515. Great, folks, about five more minutes. We're gonna cut off the participation promo for today. See, Matt, you're gonna be in on this, bud. You got a chance at a hundred bucks, a chance at a uh, prison basketball pack. And I'll tell you what, if you email me personally late and I just collect, we'll send out an exhibit to you just because I feel bad. Um, and I want everyone to have a good time here. That's why we, of course, run our vintage breaks PSA show. And speaking of good times, so um, one of the things that we're starting to do uh, a little bit more of, Lou, is develop our Vintage Breaks Buy, Sell, Trade Facebook group. And you can say, what does that mean? Honestly, I'm not even sure either, um, other than the fact that 
You know, some folks started, for example, posting orders that they got back from PSA. And then maybe they want to trade a card or two, or they want to sell a few cards, like our buddy Charles G. And so what I'm trying to do is, you know, I wouldn't say promote commerce, but if folks don't want to pay, maybe pay eBay fees. And instead of having to, you know, make listings individually, you could just, you know, take a photo of six or eight cards on your kitchen counter. And by, you know, the time to go to sleep that night, have four or five of them sold to buddies that you know from the Vintage Break Show. So we're starting to do a little bit more of that. Um, and along those lines, uh, what I'm, I'm encouraging folks to do is if you hit something on our show and it doesn't quite fit your collection, you know, drop me a line. You can email me at Layton at JustCollect.com or you can always uh, give us a call in the office. Um, reach out to us uh, several different ways. So, for example, this card was pulled live on our show uh, from a 2019 Immaculate Baseball box. Uh, it's a Donnie Baseball signed, I believe this is... I'll make sure... I was going to say Jersey. I don't know exactly what that is. But it is signed. It's number 25. And um, the gentleman who had won this uh, was not interested in it for his collection. So we decided to go back and forth. Um, ultimately offered him either a cash or a break credit. He took a break credit. And for me, growing up, Lou and gang, you know, Donnie Baseball was one of the three guys that, you know, not only I looked up to, but I really collected, like, their cards. I had, I had a binder, a special binder. I tried to get one of each, even though I knew, realized it was unattainable. So it was Donnie Baseball, um, Larry Bird, and Michael Jordan. And so um, what I really appreciate is uh, when I originally told this individual that I wanted this for my collection, do I want this for my collection? Sure. The thing is I have a lot of cards. I don't really need more cards. Um, but I do enjoy the fact and really appreciate that as, a, um, as an owner of Vintage Breaks, as an owner of Just Collect, that we can promote something like this Vintage Breaks group on Facebook get folks to share, whether it be cards they've pulled, cards they want to sell, and we're going to try to, of course, support that system. I already spent several hundred dollars with Charles G. Uh, this was about a hundred bucks we give a break credit for, um, and so we're going to really try to uh, give back and be participatory in the community in this way. And so, for example, this Donnie Baseball, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do with this. Following our show today, the Vintage Breaks PSA show, we go live on youtube.com slash vintage breaks, in some capacity, in some promotion, we're going to give away this Donnie baseball today. Number to, yep, number to 25 right on the show. Um, I thought that would be a lot of fun. And I know for me, I really appreciate the fact that as a kid, or as a young kid, because I still consider myself to be a kid, just a little bit older with the grays, you know. Um, so uh, what I really appreciate the fact is that, you know, if this was a card I got when I was a kid, this would be something I would never let go of, it'd be my prized possession. And we might be able to give this opportunity to someone who's watching our show and maybe would be able to buy this Donnie baseball, but we run on making it up, some sort of $5 promotion, and you know someone gets a snag at this uh, for, for five bucks, um, and they put it away in their collection for quite some time. And so, you know, it's just fun. I really appreciate what we do, uh, and the fact that we deal with, you know, quote unquote, ball cards for, if you will, a living, even though we don't make our living from vintage breaks, we have a lot of fun uh, hanging out and uh, participating with everyone. So we're going to give this out later today, but please, I encourage you, post up your doubles, the cards you want to trade, a set you moved on from. Um, either hit me up directly, you can email me, Leighton at Just Collect, or um, post it on our Vintage Breaks uh, Facebook group, Buy, Sell, Trade, um, and give other folks a chance at a good deal on a card. Yeah, yeah, I think it's going to be good for 2020. I do. Uh, yeah, Donnie Baseball does have a nice uh, signature. Very cool, Lucas. I'm glad that you joined. Um, very nice. Uh, okay, so we have a... Oh, actually, no. 515, the list is now cut off. Yep. Sam? All right, so we're going to open this in just a few minutes. We're also going to give away a $100 break credit. I'm going to see if I can open up another pack while we're waiting. Uh, Robert, we have any personals? I'm sorry? Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, you know, Lou, when I was a kid for many years, like my holiday gift or one of my holiday gifts was the, was the renewal subscription to Baseball Digest. And I remember my dad kind of joking with me and holding over my head, you know, uh, the price went up this year. And like, you know, I, I started to get a little bit bigger. I'm sorry? You have to list one every year. I'm sorry? Yeah, you know, it would be, it'd be a little bit like that. So, you know, I, I, gave, I gave it back to him and uh, it all worked out in the end.
you know, I don't remember Ozzy's career numbers. I know that, you know, he was a great shortstop, a great fielder, but I know his offensive numbers were not quite there. Yes, he did. That's important. Always is in sports. It's, it's important for MVP, Lou. It's important for Cy Young. And ultimately, it is important for Hall of Fame because if you have a Super Bowl title or two or a World Series title or two, I think that can sometimes edge you out, get, get you in, right? Not a first, not a first ballot. I can, I don't think so. Oh yeah, yeah I remember that. He wouldn't have had. He wouldn't have had championships. Yeah, he wouldn't have championships, that's for sure. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Thank you very much, Donald. I appreciate that. It will be on Monday uh, the 23rd and mo the following Monday the 30th. Regular time. Yep. Roll the dice. It's not easy. Seven times. Good luck, all. Only, only a handful. I bet you, Lou. That's what I mean. It couldn't be more than a handful. Oh, I can't think of any. It's just kind of like, you know, tell it the way it is. Oh. All right. So right after this pack, uh, Sam, you're going to get me that list, and we're going to give away the uh, prizes. Mm -hmm. Great. That was a former Oriole, right? Pretty popular, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Spot one. Good luck to Jim, Joe A, and looks like you guys split this pack. This is pack 33. Yeah, he is. Uh, Jim did? I didn't realize that. Braver man than myself. Love the Poli uh, Ripken rookie. That is unbelievable. Come on, Ripken. Oh, he was an incredible talent. Hey, Harry, how are you, bud? It is the Vintage Breaks Buy, Sell, Trade Group that I was mentioning. All you need to do simply is uh, find it on Facebook. Uh, you do have to quote-unquote apply, but, you know, I'll have management approve you uh, right away. Um, and uh, like we were saying, Harry, you know, it's a, it's a place where, whether it be you want to post your hits from Vintage Breaks, something you got back from grading, or for that matter, you found in an old coffee, uh, you know, mug in your house, and... Um, you know, you want to try to get rid of it. You don't want to take the time to put it on eBay. Might be a good uh, good place to do it. Certainly be easy. And I'm trying to monitor it myself so I can buy folks, uh, buy cards off folks uh, that support us. Happy to support them back. There was a Hall of Famer, Dave Winfield. Yeah, I remember him and Donnie Baseball's um, race for the batting title when I was a very young baseball fan. Oh, Reggie, unfortunately, miscut. So, uh, Lou, I'm not sure if you're aware, but it was a big weekend in auctions, 
And although there was an incredible amount of stuff sold, uh, two items in particular, one card related, one memorabilia related. So the one memorabilia related was sold by my buddy Ken Golden from Golden Auctions. And they sold the Serena Williams Broken Racket uh, for over $20,000. But so get this, it's the most expensive piece of Serena Williams memorabilia ever sold. So just, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, yes, and I think one of the line like someone bought it off the linesman or the ball boy for like five hundred bucks, and then consigned it to Ken, and it sold for twenty one thousand because it was on the news everywhere. Uh, Sam, if you don't mind, drop it in the chat. The Vintage Breaks Buy Sell Trade Facebook group name. I don't think you can do a link; it's a private group. But if you could at least put the name for what they should search for, that'd be great. Hall of Famer Tom, Tom Seaver. Nope. Yeah, exactly. Just because you did it didn't mean you could necessarily uh, hit 70 home runs. Are you kidding me? My mother, like my sister's friends were involved with baseball, and they could care less two years prior. I could tell you that. You know, by the way, uh, so Harry, I was going to talk about that on the next show. So that was kind of the, uh, that was the modern Marvel uh, that I was going to mention, Harry, was the 93 SPG. There was two sold in the last few days. One at Heritage, one at REA. I believe they both sold for 140000 uh, or north of that. Second one sold for about 160000 and change, which is pretty incredible. Um, and the other item I was going to mention was the 1970 Top Second Series Basketball Wax Box, which, of course, I personally wanted. I wanted it for vintage breaks, um, but it ended up selling for about seventy seventy five thousand 75000 with the juice, the juice being the buyer's premium. Um, that equates to about $3,000 a pack, just a little bit more, of course, than we wanted to spend. Uh, and if I did that personally... Uh, I'd be looking for uh, a new family, potentially. Uh, so so I decided not to go in that direction, as I like my family. Yeah, exactly. Um, but it was still a pretty incredible weekend uh, in auctions between Heritage, um, uh, Golden, REA, and ended up winning in something in all those auctions. It was, it was, a, great, uh, it was a great weekend. Um, so right now, we're going to give away uh, our freebies for today. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in to the Vintage Breaks PSA show. This is going to be for the seven freebies a $100 break credit and six spots in a free 2019 blaster box. One second here. <laughs> I can't wait to do interviews of him in the recap of the show. What I'm really hoping is he did, I'm hoping he's doing, and he can show us when he gets back. You know, wait, I'm a little embarrassed to show it. You know, I have a diary. Do you think it would be good for the show? Oh, my God. I'll be smirking from ear to ear. J5, of course. You should get on and tell everyone about your diary and, the, and your journey. <laughs> um, all right, everybody. So I'm going to randomize the list. Top seven will get a prize. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Six, we're going to roll it six times. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for tuning in and supporting our show today. It was a lot of fun. All right, we're going to randomize it six times. One, two, three, four, 
five and six. Six times. Top seven people. All right, Todd C. You won a $100 break credit. John W., Monty, Tim, Lucas, William, and Jim all got a spot in this 2019 Prison Blaster. We're going to open that right now. And if we go on over to the next, uh, um, you know, into our YouTube show, that's all good. And if you have to sign off, Lou, I totally understand. But we probably won't make it by 5.30 to finish opening. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me just get it over to the team. Okay. Robert, if I can have seven team bags, please. Excuse me, six team bags for the. Uh... Thank you. Perfect. Excuse me, I gotta take out Todd's name because Todd won the hundred dollar break credit. There we go. Six people, six packs, good to go. Good luck all. James, we'll have to uh, you know give those people the merit. Um, obviously there only should be two names on the list, but we do the best we can here, as obviously we're just trying to give out some prizes for free, but we'll sort of look at that afterwards. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, which redemption are you talking about, Ian? Great. Six packs, all free. Good luck, everybody. Yeah. It's been a little while for Donald. I think he won a wrapper a little while back. Um, but uh, I like the way you put it. The winner's circle. Thanks, Dan. Thanks, Mark. Maybe next time, Donald. Appreciate it, Todd. Oh, we got a silver Akeem Olajuwon and a Keldon Johnson rookie. Sleeve up his silver. This is a nice box we have here. Immaculate basketball. Olajuwon silver. Pack two. Not sure, Donnie. Ricky Rubio, is that a number? No. Donovan Mitchell hyped. Justice Winslow, who's a good young kid for the Heat. You know, the Heat are not a bad team. I don't know if you pay attention to the NBA. They're doing pretty well. Yeah, they're, they're not bad. Oh, I'm not sure, Ian. I don't know the modern market uh, that that well. Exactly, James. Too much Philly show. Kyle Guy, rookie. Open a little Zion, Morant, some parallels. We still have a chance for the auto or the game used card that'll be in here. Oh, they definitely are. Yeah, yeah. The Celtics playing well. Jackson Hayes. I'm gonna sleeve it up for you. Jersey card. This one is for Lucas. Nice. I'm not sure if that's really meant for that. We'll just have to put it uh, in here. But I feel like I knew holders. We did. They're over there. Here we go. We also got a green Kent Bazemore. Not numbered. Two more packs, Lou. Donovan Mitchell Silver. That was for William. And last pack. Let's get you a little mojo there, Jim. Good luck. 
Just saying, you're going to do the $25 break credit for the watch party. Great. I'd like to see a nice rookie or power. Rajan Rondo Purple. Not numbered, but still a cool insert. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, William. Now I get it. I didn't realize that. All right, so that concludes our Vintage Breaks PSA show for today. Thanks for tuning in. It was a lot of fun. We'll see you next week. Thanks, everybody. All right, Sam, all yours. I'll give this to Robert. Talk about that. Um, Sure. I have a, a break afterwards. So. Great. All right, that's the free PSA break. Oh, where are those cards? You know me? Great. So I'm going to type up the hit random also. Sure. Go no problem. First. All right, guys, we're going to do the uh, break credit for the watch parties now. list watch party list here we go <clears throat> and we should do local recording Hey, what's going on, Matt? How you doing? Michael, what's going on? Matthew, don't worry, bro. Uh, Layton's going to take care of you. <clears throat> uh, but does it mean that the Yankees have no money for anybody else? Well, you guys are talking about sports. Uh, okay, uh, I'm on the watch part of this. Uh, Donald, uh, you should be. Um, I didn't do the list today, guys. Uh, that was all Doug. Uh, so we're going to see the lists in one second. What's going on, Mark? What's going on, Eric? Ian, what's going on? All right. PSA. Uh, let's do a PSA show uh, watch party list. Show watch party list. There we go. I didn't see your name. Might you have been in the regular VB Facebook room by accident? Uh, true that, Doug. Are you on that one? Oh, nice, Ian. I think uh, I'm only like level 55, uh, so you definitely passed me. Uh, let's start local recording. What's going on, guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in Central New Jersey. Today we are randomizing the watch party list for a $25 break credit. Unfortunately, we did not get to 100 viewers, so we will not be giving away a $100 break credit. All right, let's get randomizing. We got uh, four the hard way. So let's go to the randomizer. One. We'll go nice and slow so you guys can see the names. Two. Three and number four. Who's gonna get that twenty-five dollar break credit? Rick Lucian, you just got yourself a twenty-five dollar break credit. All right. Uh, I 
have to email. Actually, I'll just do it right now, real quick. Instead of uh, doing it later. Uh, Heather, I'm pretty sure you were. She was. Okay. Alright. Rick, you should have that very credit in a minute. I went 26-4 KD on one game today, Sam. <clears throat> Ian, that's amazing. I love popping off in COD. <clears throat> it makes uh, the games where I go like 1-30 a lot, a lot easier. <laughs> Uh, Rick, Lucian. There we go. At least you need near the top of this. Ken, it's all part of the game, brother. Alright, it's sending. Alright. Uh, Rick, I just sent you that break credit. Now, guys, I have for you a personal break. Uh, James Phillips won a couple of packs on the, uh, I believe, the Buy Any Spot promo uh, from this past weekend. So uh, he wanted the packs opened live on uh, the show. Oh, hold on. Let me start, stop local recording. Okay, yeah, so uh, he wanted the packs broken live on the show, uh, so we're going to do that now. So I'm going to put on here, uh, James Phillips, personal gaggle, because we have so many packs. <clears throat> you guys talk Call of Duty, Doug and me. Talk baseball. Well, exactly, Steven. You know, the only difference is, you know, I'm over here on camera. <clears throat> so you have to listen to me. <clears throat> All right. So James Phillips, uh, we're doing a personal uh, gaggle break for you. Uh, you got yourself an 85 tops hockey pack, an 86 tops football pack, and an 84 tops football pack. So we're going to uh, bust these open for you. I got a pile of card savers right here. Bless uh, you. Thank you. <clears throat> Did the 15 at 100 from last night sell out? I will have to check with uh, Mr. Doug Rush. Uh, there are three spots left. There are three spots left, uh, Harry. So, uh, actually, let me get that on the board real quick. We have a 15 at 100. Uh, three spots left. And, uh, Doug, how many spots left in the 300 at 100? Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to guess uh, 220. I'm just trying to do quick math, uh, not, which I was not very good at. Um, it's okay. Yeah. Take your time. You were actually close. Was I? Uh, so 74 spots have filled, which means there are 226 spots remaining. <sighs> I'm too good. I didn't even look at that list today. On <laughs> Like, if you were on The Price is Right, you would have been, like, right in there. Spots left. All right, so that's on the board for you guys. Uh, let's move that down so it's a little uh, easier to see. What we got going on? Ooh, very nice. Good promo. Okay. All right, guys, so we're going to add that to the list in one moment. Add some dippage. We got some dippage. Right. So I have a 15 at 50, guys. First come, first serve. So uh, if someone uh, spends two hundred dollars, they're gonna get four spots in this. If uh, you know they spend X amount, they'll get the whole thing. Uh, so the top exhibit is a nice Hank Aaron. <clears throat> there you go. And let me actually hold it like this. Next we have a, a Warren Spawn. We have a uh, a Larry Dolry. Dolry. Uh, we have a uh, man. We have a, a rich W. Uh, we have a uh, 
Nelson Fox. Nelson Fox. Which is Nelly Fox. There you go. Uh, we got a Gil Hodges. All right, now I'm recognizing these names. Okay, okay. Uh, we have a Tom Henrich. Okay, okay. We have a George Kell. Uh, we have a Joe... A Joe A. Joe A. <laughs> uh, we have... Uh, uh, we have uh, LB. We have LB. <laughs> you know, he's pitching. Uh, we have Walker Cooper. You know, yeah. This is as good as uh, We nice. have uh, Elrin Dark. Man, he should have been on Star Wars. <clears throat> uh, we have Del Ennis. Uh, we have a uh, Bob Friend. And we have a uh, Gene Bearden. Barden. Bearden. Bearden. All right. <clears throat> All right, we have all <laughs> entertaining uh, Adcock. Okay, if you say so, Ashburn. You know, I think I got that one right. Um, Del Ennis. Uh, yeah, I said Del Ennis. You did say that one. I said Del Ennis. I, I recall saying Del Ennis. Lou Burdett. Okay, I didn't say that, that one. That was the LB one. LB. Okay, it was, that was awful Damn. handwriting. That was worse than mine. All right, so let's get that in the chat, Dougie. <laughs> you were you tried. He had horrible penmanship. It's his fault, not mine. I mean, you were here for many, many years ago. 15 so. at 50. They didn't, have, they didn't have our show in mind. I'm doing that. That's true. They should have. It's their <laughs> fault. Top card. Top card. Uh, Hank Aaron exhibit. I'll just do top card. Uh, no, we should do the whole thing. Uh, exhibit. All right. So it's on the screen, guys. Sam, this is J5's hockey level work. Now hold on, Kagger. <laughs> Gert, Kevin, if you will. I am feeling personally attacked right now. Okay? Hey, if their handwriting wasn't so um, awful, uh, you know, I would have been able to say it. Uh, Sam, tell me about the pics of the cards I sent you. Uh, tell them about the pics of the cards they sent you. <clears throat> uh, Ian, uh, I mean, they were awesome redemptions. Um, I don't remember, uh, what it was out of. Uh, so if you want to remind me in the chat, uh, go ahead. Who needs J5 when you have S10 and Doug show? Exactly, James. Yeah. We got, uh, S10, King of the South, <laughs> up in here. You know, we don't need no King of the North. I don't need none of that in my life. Let's, uh, adjust this camera a little bit. Can you see me? Yep, alright, so that's better. Uh, so, we got Dougie Fresh, my right hand man. <clears throat> alright, James, uh, we're gonna start local recording and get your breaks going. Alright. What's going on, guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today, uh, we have a gaggle of James Phillips personal packs, so I decided to do all of them in just one uh, gaggle video, if you will. He won these packs uh, during our Buy Any Spot promo. He won an 85 Tops hockey pack, an 86 Tops football pack, and an 84 Tops football pack. So we're going to bust those open for him. We got a nice pile of uh, card series right here. And I'm sure everyone in the chat will tell me when I pull a hit or when I don't. Because, uh, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. You're still learning. Yeah. <clears throat> right, so 15 out of 100 has one entry left. Oh, right. The 15 out of 100 has one entry left, guys. That means you have... One chance left to uh, triple dip, and then uh, no more triple dipping for a while. All right, James, so I know these are all personals, so it doesn't matter where we start, uh, but we do start under the gum. Uh, we're going to see this gum is on there. I'm not going to... <laughs> I can't remove it, unfortunately. Uh, it's on a Bob Nano. Oh, well, let's just look at the front. Uh, Bob Mano. That was close, you know. The gum blocked uh, the M. <clears throat> miss, miss, hit. What? <laughs> sounds, no like battle, sounds like Battleship. It's like a, uh, it's a chant. They're getting ready for the big hits. He wants uh, no whammies. Or press your luck. Yeah, exactly. All right, next, James, we have a Tom Lislak. <clears throat> uh, 
if you know we want um we want a french accent guys just let me know i can bust it out for you <laughs> Uh, and we are very, I just want to double check some. This is our 85 hockey. Um, 84 football. Uh, hey, Rob. Uh, this pack right here is uh, should be an 86 uh, football. And this is an 86 uh, hockey. So, okay, we didn't bust it yet. It's all good. Thank you. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Next, we have Dino Siccarelli. 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 You know, he's playing hockey. I don't know why he's Italian. I don't I don't <laughs> understand what's happening. Mama would let me go out to football. Right. So he go should be play. making pasta in the kitchen. I'm making pasta in the fazool, and I'm <laughs> playing hockey on the side. And I'm going I'm to hit the people. I'm going to hit the people. Oh. I'm in the exhibits. Very nice, Chris. <clears throat> Say it more Canadian. <laughs> Do you want me to say A at the end of everything? Maple syrup A. <clears throat> Hockey A. Mukil Goulet A. Oh, French it up. There, there you go. There you French go. Canadian he said Canadian it up. So, uh, you know. Samuel Rosenstein, Frenching it up. Ho, ho. Off to church. I'll see what exhibits I got later tonight. All right, Steven. Catch you later, bro. Thanks for hanging out. <clears throat> Enjoy. Have fun at Mass. Next, we have... Dave Malone. Yeah, no, I can't do this, guys. That voice is not uh, <laughs> it's not happening today. You know, my I left my water at my desk. My throat is dry. It's not happening. <clears throat> would you Would you like your water? Hey, guys, now come on, Lil. <clears throat> oh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, Dino was an NHL great. Oh, was he? Oh, that's awesome. Wait, is Dino the Italian guy I was making fun of? <laughs> I'm just saying, he probably makes a mean meatball. <laughs> We have a Brian Trotter trotting it up in here. Thank Are you, you with the water? Yeah. No, that's fine. Thanks. Right. Appreciate it. I have extracted with a bad Italian accent from when you say it to me, Mario. I, I resisted. <laughs> it's, uh, you know? I was waiting. I was like, why are you going to say that? He's a Mario. Oh, okay. Gotcha, Steven. All right. Next, we have uh, Ray Bork. Hey, I recognize that name. That's a that's a very good hockey player. So that's very amazing. good. But this isn't like his rookie or anything, right? What year? Uh, this is... 85 tops. Ray Bork? 80 is his rookie. 80? Okay, so... I don't know anything about that, but I just find it funny for your Swedish chef. Oh my gosh. Sure, you're a ruby winner. All right, next we have Mike Lewett. Great pack of Hall of Famers. That's right, Ken. This is a great pack of Hall of Famers. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, this is Mike Lewett. I think I told you they're a bunch of bums. You wouldn't even know. I would have agreed with them. <laughs> <clears throat> Pronounce Cicerelli. Wait, who? The Italian guy? <laughs> the oh, hold on. Oh, okay. The maker? Dino Cicerelli. <laughs> there you go. Was that... Did we do it? Todd, do I get an A? A plus. Do I pass? I need to know. Next we have Jerry Curry. Card savers. All right. We have a... Uh, next for... Uh, well, every card is for James Phillips. We have Tom Barrasso. Barrasso. Oh, perfect. Yes. <laughs> there we go. That was it. You got the approval from Ken. Chef Boyardee. I mean, <laughs> all right. I believe you guys. I guess, you know, Dino wasn't just a good hockey player. He was, he was Chef. Chef Boyardee. Whoa. He's moonlighting. Right? He's, he's a man of multiple talents. <laughs> oh. Uh, next we have Paul Coffey. That's an easy one. I said coffee. Listen, all right, I know what coffee looks like, okay? I mean, that was an easy one. Yeah, that was like a softball. Yeah. They underhanded that to me. We have Reed Larson. No relation to Brie Larson. I mean, I don't know. They could be cousins. <laughs> all right. And finally, we have a John Ogrodnik. There you go, guys. That was it. That was 100% it. Don't tell me otherwise. 
Don't. <laughs> All right, James. This was your 85 Tops Hockey Pack. Next, we have... Let me... I 86 Tops Football Pack for you. <clears throat> and where's it's, a, it's her dad. So, oh, my gosh. No, it's the soft. It, soft. 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 Whatever you say. That's like, that's like Staten Island-ish. Oh, okay. Now football, American names. Yes, this will be a thousand times easier, <laughs> even though I think I nailed those hockey names. I mean, you did pretty good. That's right. My favorite one, Cisoreli. Yeah. Fuck with the Cisoreli. You know, for a curveball, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> As you can. James, I don't know if you're watching. Uh, if you want, um, if you want me to go slower, let me know. <clears throat> no gum on this. Oh, it didn't stick anyway. If you want me to go faster, what, what do you? How, are you enjoying the show, James? Doing my best to keep it entertaining. <clears throat> and you can't teach that. That's right, Rob. <laughs> it's actually. I got uh, to Dino's bar quite a bit for a big game. So, oh, okay, that's cool. <clears throat> Bada boo! <laughs> oh, this guy. <clears throat> it's actually wrestling stuff that we're, we're referencing. Oh. Is uh so Doug, you keep up with modern wrestling? Yes. So is Rhonda still in the WWE? Because I know I she... heard there were in talks of her leaving. So she left after WrestleMania, which was back in April. Okay. Um, James, we have a John Hannah. She apparently was trying to uh, start a family. That's good. So she left. I don't know if she, she might come back. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So as I was reading something like she's in something called Diva something right Total now. Called Divas. Okay. Which is, which is a TV show on E. That was with all the female wrestlers and whatnot. Okay. Is it just them like hanging out? Pretty much. Gotcha. It's, like, it's kind of like reality TV with the with the lady <clears throat> wrestlers. We have Mark Bravaro. Okay. Bravaro, yeah. <clears throat> but it's, so it's not wrestling. It's just. It's. I mean, they show some of the stuff from them like in matches and whatnot, but it's more of like. The, it's a more TV show. It's more reality. So. Gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. All right. No problem. Yeah, I heard. I saw a tweet from her saying like she would never be totally done with WWE. Mm -hmm. Like she just can't. Cause like I mean, from MMA to WWE, uh, you're it's a dramatic change. Dramatic change, oh, and yeah. you know she did it pretty well. She does. Uh, next we have a Patriots uh, AFC Championship card. That's pretty cool. Now I'm not personally a Patriots fan, but you know. No, you kind of root for the, uh, their rival. Uh, listen, man. I don't want to talk about the rivalry. All I know is I they mean, uh, no, deflated some balls. They did. <laughs> <coughs> All right, that was actually a real call. <clears throat> and Tom Brady also deflated, you know, actual football too. But you know, that's another story. <clears throat> right, right. Uh, because uh, let's get back to the breaks, guys. What's on camera? You have a stump, Michael. Nailed that name. <clears throat> there are they're doing a long, slow build for Ronda to come back in a four horse woman angle. That would be amazing, yeah, Rob. I need to, like, backlog to, like... I, Because I haven't been keeping up with WD at all. And I want to watch, like, when she first got announced and, like... Raw Rumble. Yeah. So basically, you just go back to 2018 and just... We have uh, Lewis Lips and just start watching. Yep. Because, <clears throat> like, I know, like, the wrestlers are, like, like characters. Mm -hmm. And they have, like, story and everything. Oops. So, like, if I could just read that instead of, like, watching all the different uh, episodes, that'd be cool, too. No. No. <laughs> Don't they have comic? Some of them have, like, a comic now or something? Uh, we have Cowboys Hill, uh, Hill Evades Defenders. Okay. Michael. I said Michael. Or is it Mitchell? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I think that's what you Mitchell. Mitchell, not, not Michael. Yeah. I... All right. Now, hold on. Flag on the play... Okay, fine. There's a T. All right, all right. You got that. Sure, sure. Kevin Becky seems to try too hard. <clears throat> Kevin and Becky seem to so try. That's Becky Lynch. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So she's the she's like the o most over wrestler, right? Or ladies wrestler, but yeah. We got Ray Guy. So did Ronda win uh, her WrestleMania match? She lost. She lost. Dang. <sighs> Wonder how much they paid her to lose. She got paid pretty well by WWE. Oh, so. I can only imagine. Yeah. 
So right. just launched our, uh, they just created hit random. So Very cool. When you're done with that, you want to show off a couple of highlights. Sure, here. absolutely. All right, guys. Next, we have a uh, Gary Anderson. We have a uh, Boomer Assassin. 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 Is this um? This is is this Boomer from Boomer and Carmen? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's that's Boomer from Boomer and Carmen, and now G Boomer and Geo. But right, right. Now yep. it's Boomer and Geo. That is Boomer Assassin. Uh, oh, this is cool. Yep. That's awesome. My aunt used to uh, listen to Boomer and Carmen all the time. Like every time we would go to a Jet game, that's what we'd be listening to. Uh, yeah. I think I'm kind of okay. Uh, Thousand Yard Club. We have uh, James Lofton. Go. Once I hit my 40s, I somehow started to watch wrestling and collect baseball cards again. <clears throat> Rob, you know, we, we get into uh, things at different times, you know. I uh, I never... So, like, I'm going to go back to my nerdy roots real quick because <clears throat> I'm more of a nerd than I am a sports guy. Uh, I never played uh, D&D uh, at all. But uh, when I hit, like, you know, 24, uh, D&D started getting popular, so I checked it out. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, now I'm playing D&D, but I never thought I would be playing it now versus when I was younger. We have a Darren Nelson. You know, it's just, it's weird. Like, sometimes things catch your interest at different ages. It's... I feel like Pokemon kind of just kind of circled right around. Yeah, you know, too. Pokemon was uh, doing very well, and then they announced Pokemon Go, and then... It just took off. It took off. Oh, yeah. Pokemon Go was, like, one of the best moves they've made in a long time. Uh, next we have Stefan Page. Probably Stefan Page. Could be Stefan. Stefan. If we're pronouncing the O. Rob, I'm over 60, don't really follow wrestling, but I got back into cards a year ago. Yeah, you know, that's another thing. I, I, uh, I, I tried to play, like, card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon when I was younger. Uh, never could really, uh, support the hobby. And then, uh, you know, back when I was, like, 20, uh, just in college, I started playing card games again. It's just weird, you know? Sometimes you just circle around to the hobbies you love. It's, uh, it's really cool. Right, so you, uh, have any five? Oh, after that pack, sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. We're doing a, it's like his personal gaggle, so I have uh, one more pack. Great. There's a five dollar bonus we're announced from six to seven. Okay. And then this is now live. The high end, oh, not the high end, the regular hit random. Right. Okay. Just one of the boxes. Sure, no problem. All right, guys. So we have a five dollar bonus from six p.m. to seven p.m. with three prizes. Top prize is a fifty dollar break credit. Second place is a two thousand nineteen Prism. <clears throat> uh, blaster box. Blaster box. All right. Here's the blaster box, guys. <clears throat> you have a chance at a Zion. And third will be a 70 top set spot. So that's live right now, guys. It's a $5 bonus, 6 to 7 p.m. There you go, Doug. I'm going to put that on the screen, guys. <clears throat> My kids never stopped. Uh, was fantasy uh, sports. <clears throat> I've always been recommended fantasy leagues. I've just never uh, tried. All right, so we have a $5 bonus. 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern. $5 bonus. First is a $50 break credit. Second is a uh, blaster box. And third is a 70 tops set spot. Did the 15 or 100 fill? It's the one spot left. One spot left? Okay, I'm going to update that. All right, there we go, guys. And how many spots left in the 15 at 50? Uh, 
15 and 50 has nine spots left. Nine spots left. All right, there you guys go. I updated the spots on the screen. Also, guys, we have a new hit random live. <clears throat> I'm going to show this off to you uh, really quick. We have a nice 53 tops Mickey Mantle, PSA 2.5. There you go. We have a T206 Sweet Caporal, Bobby Wallace, PSA 4. And we have a 64 tops Mickey Mantle, PSA 3. This hit, hit random is live on our site right now, guys. We'll check that out right after this gaggle. We'll go on to the Vintage Break site together, and uh, we'll check it out. Uh, here you go, Doug. Just give that to Rob. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, James. Next is your uh, Carl Mecklen Mecklenburg. <clears throat> couple more cards in this pack. How do you buy a spot? Well, Donnie R., you asked the right man. Let me tell you. Let me just finish this pack, Donnie, and I will walk you through it. We have Kosar Fakes handoff on the Browns. Never mind, haha. <laughs> okay, all right, Donnie, no problem. Oh, Nightbot just put it in the chat. That's why. Gotcha, Donnie. <laughs> I didn't even see Nightbot. All right, we next we have Frank Bush. We have. Dennis Thurman. All right, Kaggart, have a good night, sir. <clears throat> and final card in this pack is a Mike Bell. He has a mullet, if I've ever seen one. That was the time for mullets. I mean, if you say so. I feel like mullets were out of style when they were st in style. Well, that's the 80s, so I mean, the hairstyles were all, like, like my dad had an afro in the 80s, and... Uh, you can still nice. explain it, so I don't screw it up. Okay, Donnie, no problem. Um, so, let me... Uh, Doug, you want to uh, explain it to Donnie, uh, how it works? In the chat? In the chat you know? Yeah, I mean, I, I sent him the link, but yeah, that's not a problem. That's true. That's true. Hey, when the man bun's out of style, I will uh, sh cut it. Uh, we have a 84 tops football pack. This is the last pack for James Phillips. We have a uh, another Mike Bell. That's interesting. Mike Bell back to back. He finally got rid of the mullet, guys. We have a uh, Al Baker. Would anybody be interested in a Bose duel? Uh, Kenson, so you could actually uh, post that in our Vintage Breaks Buy, Sell, and Trade group. Uh, Dougie can leave you a link in the chat. Yeah. That way, uh, you know, that's where we do all of our uh, offers. We don't do it uh, on our chat while we're uh, live. Carl, uh, Carlos Carlson. We have a Jim Pluckett. Oh, no, it's all good, Kenson. Uh, but uh, Doug just dropped the link, uh, so you can hop on in there and uh, put it up. Uh, most of the people in our community are in that Facebook group. <clears throat> uh, we have a Steve Barkowski. Steve Barkowski. Yeah, yeah, I nailed that. I nailed that. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have a, a Super Play Football, uh, I guess a giveaway. <clears throat> Next, we have a uh, Florence Kempel for the Oilers. I hope I brought enough card savers, James. Hmm. <clears throat> we have uh, a John Anderson.
for the Packers. <clears throat> Next we have Ron Jaworski. 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 With the Eagles. I may I am gonna need card savers. Um, unless they're over here. I got some over here. Cool, yes. Please. Thank you. Alright, there we go, guys. There we go. Alright, next we have a team leaders card for the Patriots. So guys, who hasn't watched The Mandalorian? Because let me tell you, that is good television. Did you just raise your hand, Emily? Yep. Why? I don't know. I said it and I was like, oh, shit. Why would you do this hold, to me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. She's, she's preparing for her senior year in the finals. Give her a break. She'll catch up. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Look at this. Look at this. She's done. She's and gone. she hasn't watched The Mandalorian. You don't have to be. Well, I mean, the I'm not into there. Star Wars either, and I just like it because it feels like an old western, but it's like a modern, like sci-fi western. Well, I mean, Baby Yoda is taking uh, over the internet. I Baby, guess I love Baby, Baby Yoda. I've also seen. I also know some stuff about the, the. I guess Mandalorian. I guess that's the character. But it's, it looked. It does look interesting. It's just I'm just. I haven't had the time to watch oh, it. I'm really not. I uh, I'm I'm not too into Star Wars either, but I watched the first episode and I got really oh, yeah. into it. I got hooked. It's all right. I we it. have uh, yeah, Walter cool. Payton. That's pretty cool. Sweetness. Uh, episode 5 was weak. Ken, uh, yeah, you know, episode 5 wasn't as, like, crazy as, like, the opening episodes. But, you know, they can't all be uh, million-dollar episodes. I thought it was pretty cool, you know, uh, that the uh, he got betrayed by that guy uh, for his bounty in the episode. Next we have uh, Ed Murray. Um, I'm going to make a quick call. Sure. Um, just want to let everyone know, so nine of the 15 um, exhibit spots are gone. Okay. Just let Jim, uh, Jim uh, Ector know that we combined his two. Okay. So they basically got rounded up. So there's nine of 15 gone, six left. Got it. So guys, there's only six spots left in our exhibits promo. James, if you didn't catch what Leighton said, uh, we combined your orders. So uh, we rounded that up for you. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Only uh, three cards left in uh, your gaggle. So, Ken, uh, when you say uh, it was weak, you know, uh, I thought it was cool uh, that uh, the entry-level uh, bounty hunter, you know, oh, wait, actually, hold on. Spoilers. <laughs> I felt like uh, the guy who was trying to prove himself, I thought it was interesting that he got greedy uh, because I wasn't expecting him to, honestly. He looked like a coward. Uh, I thought he was just going to take, uh, the bounty and, like, dip, but he shot her and then tried to jump, uh, Mando, which was interesting. We have Bruce Harper. Jeff, final card in your gaggle break. We have a Gary Cobb. James, thank you for letting us break this on the show. Hopefully I did your, uh, your cards justice. I know I'm not the, uh, expert level breaker here, but, uh, I had fun. And, uh, I had fun with everyone in the chat, uh, so thank you. All right, I need a bag. Doug, do you have a label maker over there? I do. Does it work? Okay. Can you just print me out a label for this? I'm putting the sticky in there. Doug. You just need a label for it? Yeah. <laughs> now you've ruined it. I have not seen it. Oh, James, it's okay. It's I did not ruin any of the good episodes. Um, as Ken said, it was a little weak. Uh, but, you know, all I feel like all the episodes have their merits. And they're just showing different sides of Mando. Um, and what he has to put up with while trying to raise Baby Yoda. Which Mando does not know the significance of. Which is kind of cool uh, to think about. <clears throat> Alright, Sam, 15. Uh, he was a terrible actor. He wasn't like any of the other characters we've watched since 77. I mean, you're, 
again, you're not wrong, Ken. Uh, but I think uh, the betrayal was uh, an interesting, you know, thing to introduce in episode five instead of say later. Um, so you know, I I like that they did it uh, so early in the series. Fifteen hundred is closed. Fifteen out of hundred is closed, guys. So uh, we will give that away in a little bit. Let me take it off the screen. There we go. And we can take this off the screen. All right, let's see what we got in the shoots. Okay. Rob, I have a couple uh, packs on my desk. Okay, cool, cool. Um, okay, guys. Uh, let's break a 82 solo pack. Okay, coming to America is in America. <laughs> uh, okay, Dave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very true, James. Our, uh, very true, Ken. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, yeah, guys. Let's uh, go to the site real quick and uh, check out that hit random before I continue. Um, I believe... Was this it? Yep. Yeah, okay, guys. So this is the hit random uh, that I just showed you the hits for. <clears throat> uh, in that hit random, we also have a... Uh, 67 tops uh, RBI leaders with uh, Clemente, Hank Aaron, and uh, Richie Allen. Uh, we have a, a Bob Clemente, PSA 5. We have uh, Leo DeRoche, PSA 8. Uh, we have a Bobby Thompson, SGC 84. We have a Hank Aaron PSA 4, and we have a 68 tops Roberto Clemente SGC 50. It's a nice hit random, guys. <clears throat> uh, there were 30 spots in it, so someone already picked up a spot. It's 125 a spot. Check that out at your leisure on our site. All right. Donnie promos are extra gifts to get more interest. Uh, it's probably nice to get a chance at bonuses. Uh, Donnie promos are extra gifts. Uh, yeah, James. Uh, you know, all of our bonuses are extra gifts uh, on top of your product. Just a fun way to, get, uh, you know, uh, give back to you guys. <clears throat> so let me pull up the list for this 82... Tops uh, baseball solo pack. Back to local recording. Gotcha, James. What's going on, guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today we have an 82 top cello pack, 187. We're going to roll our dice and randomize the list. Here we go. We rolled a 7. All right, let's go to the randomizer. One, two, three. Come on, three. Here we go. Four, five, six, seven. All right, this is our order for the pack break. Hey, Rob, could you um make sure the phones are reconnected? Thank you. 
All right, get that on the main screen for you guys. There you go. All right, and right, just so I don't forget, we're gonna send the email to uh, just collect. There we go. All right. All right, we are ready to roll. All right, guys, so uh, the gum is in the middle of this, so I believe we just start with the top of the pack. All right, that was fun. <clears throat> All right, card number one for James Phillips. We have Cleveland's and Indians 81 batting and pitching leaders. We have Mike Margrove and Burt Blylevin. If I hadn't heard that name a hundred times, mm -hmm. I definitely would have messed it up. Next we have a, a Rick Cerrone for James Phillips. Card number three for James Phillips. We have Enrique Oromo. There you go, James. Card number four for James. We have Jim Assane. Donnie, the guys in the group and Dougie are taking good care of you. If you need any more clarification, though, you can always email me at uh, sam at vintagebreaks.com, and I will uh, go over everything again. I have no problems doing that for you. Jim Assain for James. Next spot, number five, for Stephen Thomas. We have Damos Garcia. And then after this, guys, we are going to do that 15 and 100. <clears throat> there you go, Steven. Spot number six for James. We have a Milt May and a Vita, Vita Blue. <clears throat> Again, if I hadn't heard that name before, I was going to call him Vita Blue. But I've heard it enough. I know it's Vita. Spot number seven for Steven, we have Bruce Benedicti. Sure. Bruce Benedict. There you go. Well, because on the back, it, it you know it didn't look like an eye because of the gunpowder. Mm. But on the front, I can clearly see it's a T. There you go, Steven. There are the uh, then a few weeks later you got your spot card and you to complete the buy. Yep, see <clears throat> James, you get a gold star, you know the process very well. <clears throat> spot number eight. For Steven Thomas, we have a a Jim Morrison. There you go, Steven. Next for spot well uh, James Phillips has the rest of this pack, so spots nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Uh, so we have a Alfredo Griffin. It's isn't it like Alfred Griffin or something? Alfredo. It is Alfredo. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Hundred percent. He's been a long time coach in baseball. Okay. All right. Look, it just sounds weird calling someone Alfredo. There's a guy on the Patriots that starts the Patriots, Steve Alfredo, and I don't know why we went. We yeah. Went from high school yeah. For, I. It was so much fun calling him. <laughs> I mean, it's, we had, we had this, some, someone. 
I have a lot of friends named Alfred, and I just call them Alfredo, but <laughs> I like to make fun of them. No, that, that's his real name. Uh, we have Stevie Kemp for James. I won a Cleveland Indians helmet this morning, signed by Tom Berger and Corbin Burnson. Oh, that's awesome, Donnie. Where'd you win it? Spot 11 for James. We have a Johnny Grubb. There we go. And final card in the break for James. We have a Chet Lemon. Like, how do you get named after food? I'm just curious. Like, how does that happen? I don't know. Oh, well, this guy's name is Chet Lemon. So we had Lemon Alfredo in the same pack. I had in high school my one of the last teachers, my gym teacher's last name was Mayo. And I'm like, it's just, I thought that was funny. It's like, no one else thought it was funny, but I'm like, that was just, I just thought it was stupid. Exactly. Uh, guys, this is our 82 cello pack, uh, pack 187. Thank you, James and Steven, for selling it out. David Adams Card World is. We got, we got it off Instagram. Oh, that's cool. Wow. That's awesome. I think we're on Instagram. I just, I, you know, it's hard to keep up. I think we are. <clears throat> All right, guys. We are going to do that 15 and 100 now. I just need to get everything set up for that. So bear with me. Uh, Doug, how are we doing on our uh, 15 at 50? Our 15 at 50 closed. Oh, it did close. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't. Thanks for the heads up, man. Appreciate I told it. You. Don't recall. Okay. I'm, hard, I'm hard of hearing. Oh no, no I'm sorry. The fifteen hundred. The fifteen and fifty. I'm sorry. That's that's my fault. Uh, three spots. You guys, you see the death gaze I'm giving. Yeah, 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 I deserve that one. I, mm. I got interesting. Look. Interesting. I know. I, I, <clears throat> I take my apology back. Well, I mean, they're right next to each other. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I, I accept responsibility. <laughs> I'm getting old. Uh, all right, top card. Uh, let's redo this since we're here. Everyone gets. So there's only six spots left in the exhibits promo. No, there's three. There's three, even better. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. All right, top card. Hank, Aaron, three spots left. Uh, okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so now let's grab that. Uh, where is that 15 out of 100? Oh, I believe this is it. Uh, Top card is a Willie Mays, 15, first 15, $100 bonus promo. Okay, cool. All right, so here's our 15 out of 100, guys. We're going to give that away right now. All right. And let's get local. Uh, let's get the title and then local recording because, you know, I'm good at this. Right there we go. Never heard, uh, never heard someone say I have a lot of friends named Alfred. Uh, has there been any PSA reveals lately? Uh, Russ, uh, we haven't had a PSA reveal yet. Um, we're probably gonna have a couple PSA reveals when J5 gets back from vacation. Uh, we just have to catalog stuff and uh, get it ready. <coughs> Outside of Bruce Wayne. Ah! I got it. I got it. <laughs> no. That took me a minute, Rob, because it was separated. <laughs> um, Alright, let's go. <clears throat> but even then, you know, Bruce Wayne only has one Alfred. Yeah. This is true. Let's go local recording. What's going on, guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today we are doing our 15 at 100 uh, giveaway. It was a bonus promo. It started um, yesterday, Tuesday, on Prime Night at 9.30, and it filled today. 
uh, Wednesday after the PSA show. Uh, so we're going to get to rolling and uh, we're going to randomize the list. Let me get the randomizer up for you guys. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, now you can, we got five. Uh, now you can see the roll. Now we can go to the randomizer. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, guys. So Harry Cassip, you just won yourself a uh, Willie Mays PSA 6. And we are going to go through the pile. Uh, we're going to get this list on the big screen. Come on. There we go. All right. All done. All right. <clears throat> so let's go. All right. So, Harry, you just won yourself a 59 tops Willie Mays nice. PSA 6. Oh, you just gave away the promo? Yep. Uh, Harry, you also got yourself the Yogi Berra. Very nice, Harry. There you go. Uh, so the collection's coming left and right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we're going to go here. Guys, can I get a Alright, there we go. Steven Garrett, you got uh, Juan Marichal. There we go. So when you're done, Sam, I'm going to open up uh, Jim's personal prison uh, basketball box. Okay. Steven Garrett. Alright. <clears throat> James Phillips. Harmon Killebrew. That is a very good point, Colt. Let me double check the email real quick. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I copy and pasted 15 names, and there's 15 names in the randomizer. You guys can see it right here. Hmm. Uh, so um, the order is not going to change. I'm just going to copy and paste it again. Uh, that is weird, but uh, you guys can see right there we... Yeah, randomized 15 names so nothing's changed i'm gonna copy that and it's the bottom three just kind of cut off. yeah it's really weird uh but we're gonna uh it looks like it was an issue with excel because it's not taking my copy and paste huh. but it's right on the randomizer it still says five so nothing's changed there we go well, it's harry 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 and cross yeah or 13 14 15. Yeah, the order doesn't change. Order change. It's yeah, just, it's just it's really weird. It's not. Got cut it off. keeps blocking my. Uh, that's weird. There we go, guys, and that's why we keep the randomizer up in case of things like that. Uh, thank you for pointing that out, Colt. <clears throat> uh, so we're gonna continue. James Phillips got. Uh, the Harmon Killebrew. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, Harry, you got card number five, Robin Roberts. I'm going to add that to your pile. <clears throat> Next, we have uh, for James Ector, card number six, we have uh, Walt Alston. There you go, James. All right, we have a uh, card number seven for Rob G. We have <clears throat> uh, Aaron sets a home mark. So I believe this is a 70, 74 uh, Hank Aaron. And right after this, we're going to be opening up the Jim C's personal prism basketball box. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, Harry, you got the next two cards. We have a Don Zimmer. And we have a Carl Yastrzemski. There you go. 69 liter. 69 liter. Add that to your pile, Harry. Uh, James Ector, you got yourself a Ty Cobb. 73. And that's right here. Rob G, we have a Hank 
Bauer. Yep, former Yankee, 16 tops. Uh, and this is for OG. Uh, we have Tom Fierce for Brian B. There you go, Brian. You got Hall a of Famer. football card, Hall of Famer. Next, ca- next two cards are for Harry. We have Hugh McClenny. Hall of Famer. <clears throat> and we have... Uh, That's a nice one. Features Pistol Pete and Kareem. There you go, guys. 74.5. And last one's the King. And this is for Chris T. Bernard King. All right. Chris T. All right, guys. Doug, you have an update on the 300 at 100? All right, guys, thank you for finishing this promo off. Thank you for letting me give it away. 222 spots. All right. So. Okay. So doing pretty well, guys. We're about a third of the way done with the Ted Williams. Uh, 57 tops PSA 7, $500 break credit promo that we announced yesterday. It's pretty good. Got a couple things we're going to announce just uh, as soon as Sam's uh, done finishing up. We're going to open up a personal 2019 First Off the Line Prison Basketball box. There you guys go. Back in the field. Get the sticker. Clean up a little bit. Hey Jim, hope you're watching. You could have put this away now. Just put it in a hard, hard sleeve if we have one. This just went live the other day. I'm going to give it to the guys to put it away. 75 rack, fresh on the site. Doug, you can give that to Robert. Put away, please. Thank you. Put Teddy back on his stand. Yeah, Jim, these are pretty awesome. Looking forward to this. Let me uh, get this situated here. 2018 Prism. First off the line, basketball box break. Jim, we're going to announce a $5 gaggle bonus in just a minute before your break. Oh, so do I. <clears throat> so do I, Dave. Not an easy product to get, and of course, uh, some of the cards in there are on fire. Um, so this is... <laughs> Something like that, Dave. I'm looking forward to this one, that's for sure. So this is a $5 Kaggle bonus. Starts at six thirty-five. It will go until six fifty. All right, guys and gals, we're going to run a five dollar gaggle bonus from right now for fifteen minutes till six fifty. And of course, we do have the five dollar hourly bonus ending at seven o'clock. You have a sixty-eight tops crew. I'm just going to fire through these real fast. There are a bunch of Hall of Famers and stars. Basically, the sixties through the early eighties, generally sixties and seventies. Oh, the last card's pretty cool. You think it's a 91 Tops, but it is not. It is a 91 Tops Desert Shield. I thought that was a great type card. Some of the better cards, uh, the 68 Crew All-Star, uh, Elvin Hayes, Hall of Famer, 2nd Year Ripken, 75 Tops Frankie Robinson, 76 Tops Stan Makita. With the Desert Shield, and it does come with this Nelly Fox exhibit. All one group will go to one individual. You buy $5 of spots at VintageBreaks.com. You will be in on that gaggle, as well, of course, the $5 bonus ending at the top of the hour. Doug, if you could put that in the chat, please. All right, Jim, good luck. This is going to be super fun. 
Uh, I'm not sure, Scott, but uh, one of the guys who are watching the chat will uh, look into that for you. You can let him know, Sam. Someone's asking about a particular uh, 83 Tops baseball pack. Thanks, Donnie. Good luck in the uh, in the break. The Jim and the rest of the gang, I don't know if you saw this, but this is pretty cool um, how Panini does it. I like that the, the pack is in here. and re Really, it can't move out of there. It can't shake around. I mean, maybe it could move back and forth there, but it can't flip flop around the box. So I thought that was pretty good of them. Wow, that kind of <laughs> yeah, you have to kind of get used to it, but I think the card companies do it on purpose, right? It's kind of like the cereal box. Like they produce this huge box, you get eleven ounces of cereal, and like, why is this box gigantic? It's like a bag of potato chips. Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> you know, like you open the bag, like, where's half the bag? I don't understand. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, to the PSA show today. It was a lot of fun. We did just announce and release on our site the first, or excuse me, the newest uh, graded hit random. It's 30 cards. It's all baseball, so we're going to do a little bit more sports-themed hit randoms moving forward in 2020. Of course, we'll do the mixed ones as well. Um... That features a gorgeous, gorgeous, perfectly centered 53 mantle. If you know anything about 53 mantle, even in low to mid grades, the card is very hard to find centered. So I was happy to offer it to you folks. Good luck to everyone who wants to check it out. It's 125 a spot, 30 spots available. I know we sold a few so far. We just uh, released it a little bit ago. Dion Waiters Silver. Hey, John. Congrats. What's up, Ken? Terrence Mann, Silver Rookie. I like the way they even pack this, Jim, that, you know, the autos aren't first, because Silvers can still be great, as you know. Oh, my pleasure, Rob. Um, and, you know, speaking of which, I want to make sure that everyone knows, because I've had people ask me, like, I don't understand, you guys sell the hit randoms all the time, like, why don't you do four at once, or, or more? I would love to do that. Except there's only one of me, and it's not that easy to train folks with 20 plus years of knowledge in the hobby as to what folks are going to want to buy, the price point that's fair, both for, of course, our company to make hopefully a, a little bit of a profit, but then also fair for you folks to consider buying in. So it's not the easiest thing in the world to teach, thus to scale. So I kind of do it as, I know you folks enjoy it, we sell some inventory, but also give you a nice chance to uh, pick up some vintage cards in a guaranteed fashion, where of course you can see what we have. Um, but yes, I would love to do more of them. Uh, I'll certainly try to do another one for tomorrow if I could fit it in. But we now have the 06 hit random up, the high end one up, and of course the new one we just announced at one and a quarter. And what I try to do, if you haven't noticed the theme, I try to spread out the price points. So if we have a super duper high end one, the next one, um, uh, you know, one and a quarter, maybe I'll do one for between 50 and 100 bucks, just depending on time allotted and the cards that we have, of course, in stock. Now I see something very, ooh, I don't know if this is signed, Jim. This is very exciting. So, Dave, we have our first ever basketball hit random. I don't know if it'll be ready tomorrow, but it'll definitely be ready for next week. Basketball only. Graded basketball only. Uh, Chris, it did. I don't know if it filled yet. Uh, Dougie, how are we doing on the exhibit promo? It's closed. It's closed. There's your answer. Uh, it's now closed. We do have the uh, $5 promo with the flash um, gaggle of vintage cards. Ending at six fifty, and the f other five dollar promo ending at the top of the hour with a fifty dollar break credit uh, as one of the prizes. All right, let's see if this is signed. We have done that, Lucas. We're going to do a little bit more of those as well. Oh, Daddy, Jim, very nice man. This is awesome. Real excited for you. You got a sensational signature of R.J. Barrett, numbered to a quarter, twenty-five. Jim, of course, if you want, we'll grade that on the house for you. If you just want to enjoy it at home, we'll, of course, ship it out to you. Check that out. A little RB action. Yeah, that's very nice, Jim. 
Uh, yep, yeah, Rob, we, uh, I have the cards. I just have to, like I said, I can't give it off to someone, so I have to finalize them. Um, so we've got a basketball hit random. We're going to have a rookie hit random, and then, of course, a mixed hit random coming up in the next few days. As far as I'm concerned, you're already doing well with the box. You still have about half to go, Jim, so this is fun. Moritz Wagner of the Wizards, uh, auto. Yeah, I thought you might say that, Jim. Absolutely. I know with modern, it doesn't matter as much. Jalen McDaniels, sensational signatures, numbered of 25. Now we got some shimmers coming up. I tell you, Jim, this is a real treat. I love opening this product. You got it. I'd be happy to open that for you, Harry. If you could check the chat, um, the orders and, and pull that prison box. I love opening basketball, Robert. Andre Iguodala, blue shimmer. Now, is this a gold shimmer numbered? Oh, my goodness. If this could only have been someone I have heard of. I mean, I know who Zaire Smith is, but if this was a uh, if this was a big name, Jim, this would be huge money. Zaire Smith, gold shimmer, numbered of 10. Very nice. Yeah, I think it is a beautiful design. I like, I like the product. Thanks for the heads up there, Dave. And lastly, you got a Jalen Howell rookie from the T-Wolves. Looks like that's a green shimmer, number to 25. If he becomes anything, that'll certainly be a good one, Jim. This is a really fun box. We do have another box on the site right now at VintageBreaks.com if you want to check out 2019 Prism Basketball, first off the line. I'm going to show you RJ one more time. Our pleasure, Jim. Fantastic. Beautiful. Very cool. Love to get this 18 Immaculate Basketball sold out. If we do, I'll be happy to open that for you folks. Mikey will be back tomorrow, barring uh, his cold getting any worse. Checked in with him earlier today. So in the coming weeks, we're going to talk more about the uh, recent wax collection that we bought from Jim. It'll be on our blog at justcollect.com slash blog. Harry, they're getting that Prism basketball box ready. In just about five minutes, we're going to have the uh, gaggle bonus of Vintage Stars along with that exhibit, Nelly Fox, will be up. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to give away uh, these exhibits. You sent me the list? Same one. Uh, the 15 to 50, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to give these away, and then, Harry, if that blaster is open, we're going to bust through that. Big basketball fan myself. Our 72 basketball set break sold out yesterday. We'll be breaking that tomorrow at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Tell you what, folks, if we sell out Immaculate Basketball, there's five spots left. I'm going to give two prizes. I'm going to give one Prism Basketball first off the line spot and one spot in the 1973 Tops Basketball Rack Pack. 
That's only if it sells out tonight. Mainly because I'd like to open it. Uh, okay, bounty. If sold out tonight. There's five spots left. Means two of you will get prizes. Two entries will get prizes. Also, six spots left in our 1986 Fleer basketball wax pack. All right, let's do the exhibit promo giveaway. Russ, I'd have to think about it. It was, you know, it's all together at my house. I started working on it. Um, the main hit, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do like a Jordan rookie, like a really nice five or six, or a Kobe Bryant Chrome nine or ten rookie. You know, but it's going to be try to try to have a main, you know, hit just like a, a basket, uh, just like a baseball, or a, a multi-sport hit random would have for us. say good stock of modern more vintage yeah I'm looking forward to it uh, Russ what's up Dave Oh, we have, Harry. We've actually sold quite a bit. Um, in general, I try to uh, only get boxes of those. Folks sell loose packs, but I'm not a big fan of those. Um, so it's not as easy these days to get a sealed box. But believe me, as soon as I do, they'll be back on the site. I bet you we've sold 180 of them so far. So, yeah, we're certainly no stranger to them. It's a great product. It's just gone up uh, in the last, let's say, six months. And not as easy to find at a, you know, a good price where I can offer it to you folks at. Yeah, I used to, it's, it was one of our best sellers, Harry. I was just never able to get a case. I mean, you know, it goes without saying. Not easy to find. Uh, all right, we're going to give away the exhibits right now, 15 at 50. Everyone's going to get an exhibit who's in on this promo, which is really fun. Great, 15 names on the list. Uh, I was bidding on them on Sunday night, uh, Jim, the uh, cello packs. Went a little bit out of uh, the range I felt comfortable with, but yeah, they had two of them in REA, uh, and I had seen cello packs in my first year working out of college from Mark Murphy, the baseball card kid. He bought about eight or ten of them, I think, at one time. All right, we're going to randomize the list for the exhibit promo. Good luck, everybody. Hope you hit the errand. Three times in the randomizer. Thanks to everyone who was trying to squeeze into that 650 gaggle. We'll give that away in just a few minutes. Of course, the $5 promo will end at the top of the hour. Ken, I haven't talked to him in a couple years, bud. I think he's still out west. Are good to go three times. Three times on the randomizer. Good luck. One, two, and three. All right. 
Congratulations, Jim. You got the Hank Aaron. You also wow, you also got the Spawny. Joe Brown, you got the next two, which means you did pretty well. You got the Larry Doby and the Richie Ashburn, two Hall of Famers. Pretty nice. Chris T, you're next up. Nellie Fox, Hall of Famer for you. This is a good promo, especially when you're getting five, six deep and they're still Hall of Famers. Stephen G, you didn't get a Hall of Famer, but you did get Gil Hodges. A lot of folks think you should be a Hall of Famer. Beloved Met and Dodger, Leroy K. You got Tommy Henrik, former Yankee. Stephen G. George Kell, solid ball player. Jim E. You got the next two. Joe Adcock and Lou Burdett. Leroy, you get the next two. Last three, Chris T, Jeff M, who we met this weekend, and Jim. All right, congratulations, all. Uh, Jim, I'm going to say that the one cello sold for like eleven thousand. And the other one I was going after, obviously the cheaper of the two, sold for like seventy five hundred, maybe eight thousand. Certainly uh, a few shekels. Yep, I remember that, Russ. Yeah, we've had several ninety three SP boxes. All right, folks, don't forget, we have the $5 promo ending at the top of the hour. Sam, I'm going to bust this blaster real quick um, and then make that call. I'll have you uh, give this gaggle away, please. Yeah, they went for some pretty silly money, Jim, that's for sure. Make sure you check out our Facebook group, Vintage Breaks Buy, Sell, Trade, as we're talking about on the PSA show. I'll give you an opportunity to list some stuff in your collection, extra stuff you pull from us. No cost to you, and I'll certainly try to participate and uh, support the community by buying from you folks. All right, Harry, it looks like you have five of the six spots. Russ, you have the other spot. Good luck, guys. Randomize the list ten times. Two. Three. Oh, okay. Four. Oh. Catch okay. it up. And uh, this is all sealed product. Okay. Lagging a little bit behind. Five, oh, six. No Seven, eight, or email you direct. Oh. Nine and ten. Okay. Still getting leads uh, in the evening, which is wonderful. All right, Harry, you have the first three spots. Russ, you get the fourth pack, and then Harry with the last two. Right, 
Anyway, and recording. This is for 2018 Prism Basketball Blaster Box number 18. All right, email the team. Good to go. Three minutes, folks, to get in on the $5 promo we're giving away. Uh, who has the um, the information for the $5 promo we're giving away at the top of the hour? I don't you have We're giving away a $50 break credit, a 2019 Prism Blaster Box. That's a nice prize. And a 1970 Topps Baseball Set Break Spot. Packs in order. All right, how are you up first? Good luck. Green Urson Ilsova and a Kyrie Thomas rookie. Oh, you got it. Our pleasure. The exhibits are always popular. Not able to always buy collections of them, so when I can, I certainly try. All right, Harry, you're up in spot two. Good luck. Ursan Ilisova base. All right, so no rookie in that one. Markel Fultz, who is now down, I believe, in Orlando. Spot three is yours, Harry. Looks like you got the jersey card. Nikola Jokic. Spot four is yours, Russ. Good luck. Trey Young Emergent. Hey, what's up, Jeff? How are you? Hope all is well. So not the main rookie of Trey Young, but Emergent, which is cool. Nice hit for you, Russ. Spot five. How are you got the last two? Kyrie, get hyped. Jason Tatum, heck of a Celtic player. Fan uh, the Celts myself. Hey, what's up, Derek? Yeah, it wasn't bad, Russ. Not at all. Still got a last pack mojo here. D. Smith. Costas. Oh, this is uh, Giannis's brother. Put that in a sleeve for you. There you go, Harry. Giannis's brother. Hey, I see. I'm kind of a piece of paper from the printer. Okay. You just blank. Thank 
you. All right, folks, so before I, uh, I'm going to make a quick call about a collection, actually. I hope it works out. Yeah, Dave, uh, Optic Basketball is pretty wild. I um, wanted to announce a new $100 bonus promo. It's starting at 7 o'clock. Sam's going to hop on, open a few packs, give away this $5 uh, gaggle bonus, as well as the one ending at 7, just about a minute or two ago. Um, the next 15 folks, or entries, excuse me, uh, that spend $100 at VintageBreaks.com, Everyone will get a prize. Uh, the first prize will be a spot in our 1971 Topps Baseball Rack Pack Break. It's $250 a spot at VintageBreaks.com. Some real um, great possibilities in that pack, including the Thurman Munson. Excuse me, one spot in our 1964 Philadelphia Football Cello Pack. A $100 break credit. Three 1970 Topps Baseball Set Break Spots. And six 1973 Topps Baseball Set Break Spots. 15 prizes in all. It is first come, first serve. And by the way, folks, if you get in on this, you will also be in on the $100 promo, which we announced yesterday, featuring a 1957 Topps Ted Williams PSA 7, a $500 break credit, and a 2018 Topps update box uh, hobby. Uh, that was 300 out of 100. I think we're about a third of the way through. All right, Sam, so if you could... Uh Hop on in, give away the $5 gaggle ended at $6.50, the other one at $7, and then just uh, go over this and then give it to Doug, please. Oh, great. That's going to kick off our uh, 12 specials. I see everyone, uh, a lot of retailers doing these 12 days of, uh, you know, I don't know if it's 12 days, but maybe 12 different specials. Oh, hmm. So that's kind of where this one came from. It's a reminiscent of the Black Friday. Gosh, the 12 days of vintage Christmas. Exactly. Oh, okay, to give it a shot. Mm -hmm. This is 720? Yep. Great. Okay. Yeah, give a card. What's going on, guys? <clears throat> All right, so before we give those promos away, we're going to uh, clean up the screen. So six to seven is gone. We're gonna take that off the board. E um, fifteen at fifty is gone. We're gonna take that off the board. <clears throat> we are going to put our new hundred dollar bonus promo on the board. Uh, so it's a fifteen at one hundred, and there are fifteen prizes. Okay, so everyone gets a prize. Prize is a nineteen seventy one tops baseball uh, rack spot. All right, so that's on the board. Hey, uh, Dougie, how many spots are left in the three hundred at one hundred? 
219. Okay, so 219. All right, we're going to update the board now. There we go. Okay, we're going to go boom. All right, guys, I'm just cleaning up the screen. <coughs> So uh, we're going to go over this promo one more time, and then we're going to give away these uh, other promos. Mark, good to know. I guess I'll be headed to the post office tomorrow. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I got my vintage hit randoms today. It was an early Christmas at the post office. Oh, that's awesome, Mark. <clears throat> so it's uh, 15 at 100, starting at 7 p.m. There are 15 prizes, guys. Top prize is a 71 Tops Baseball Rack Pack spot. I believe there's only 19 spots left in that. Second place is a 64 Phillies football cello spot. Third place is a $100 break credit. And then uh, fourth through, I believe fifth, no, it's fourth through sixth. Yes, fourth through sixth, we'll get a 70 tops baseball set spot. And then <clears throat> uh, seventh through uh, 15th, we'll get a 73 tops baseball set spot. Uh, so there you go, Dougie. Obviously, uh, adjust the ranges if I messed one of them up. I was trying to do math in my head. It never goes well. Okay. Um, all right, now let's give away the gaggle. So this is the 635 to 650. And I thought we had one other gaggle to give away. We have the $5 gaggle and the $5 bonus. The five dollar bonus. Oh, I see it. Okay, cool. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so one person is winning that blaster box. Very cool. Okay. And your math actually was actually very good on this. Yeah, nice. You got it all right. I get an A. Yeah, you get an A. Yes. A's are what matters, guy. Nothing else. B B's are for betas. Um. All right. <clears throat> This was, uh, oh wait, let's, oh no, local reporting never stopped. Okay, well Oops. now we're starting again. Huh. What's going on guys, this is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today we are giving away our 635 to $655 bonus gaggle. Alright, I'm going to put that on the screen for you guys, there you go. And we're going to roll, and then I'm going to show you the uh, randomization. We have a For the Hard Ways. Very nice. I should be at the table right now. Uh, let's go to the randomizer. One, two, three, and four. All right, Joe Brown, I believe you won the whole thing. This was a winner take all, Dougie? Or is it two prizes? No recollection? Well, it's okay because Joe Brown got first and second. Oh, so he got basically yeah. all shebang anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, Joe, uh, you get first and second. Um, you let me, let me get this off here for you. You won yourself the gaggle of cards and the Nelly Fox exhibits. There you go, Joe. I'm going to replace this sticky... <clears throat> Joe Brown. All right, there you go, Joe. And you know what? I'll put a sticky on the Nelly Fox too, just in case they get separated in transit. Good call. Yep. Rather be safe. Yep. All right. Thank you, guys. All right, that's done. Next, we have the 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. $5 bonus. <clears throat> and this says three prizes. So. All right, a lot of entries. Very cool. All right, guys. Start local recording. 
What's going on guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today we have our 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. $5 bonus. I'm going to put that on the screen really quick. Uh, $5 bonus and we are going to roll the dice, randomize it, and uh, get these prizes given away. So without further ado, uh, we have a 10. Oof. Uh, okay. Randomizer. One. Two. Come on, two. There we go. Three. Four. Come on, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Who's it going to be? Joe Brown cleaning up. <clears throat> he uh, just nudged James Ector, but James Ector has second and third. Uh, so we actually don't have to. Uh, we'll put this on the main screen for a moment while I uh, divvy up the prizes. All right. Thank you, everyone who participated. <clears throat> okay, so. James Ector, you got the Panini uh, Blaster Box. James Ector, there we go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Joe Brown, you got the break credit, so I will give that to you in one moment, sir. And James Ector, you got the 70 top set spot. All right. So let's email that out. Thank you guys. All right. I'm just going to do the uh, break credit real quick. There we go. Easy peasy. Lemon sweet. Exactly. Joe, I haven't seen your name before. Um, if you're new, welcome to Vintage Breaks. Uh, if you're not new, uh, congratulations on the wins. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. All right, Joe, I just sent you that break on it. So uh, that should be good to go. Now I'm going to email myself about that free spot. For uh, James Ector. Seven inch breaks. James Ector. Alright guys, thank you. <clears throat> now uh, let's get back to some breaking. Um, looks like uh, we're doing some hockey. Actually, what pack was uh, Scott uh, D was asking about a pack earlier, right? Um, I believe it's in the shoot, so let me break that for him. I just have to find it. Uh, 
Uh, here it is. Uh, 83 baseball 170. All right, so it's right here, James. Uh, Scott, I'm going to break that for you now. <clears throat> if you're still watching, if not, you'll see the recording. Uh, they were talking about giving away a Don Mattingly member of their card on Facebook show. Do you know anything about it? Uh, Donnie, we have, I have the card right here. Uh, Blayton has not announced how he wants to uh, give that away yet. So um, I'm sure he's still uh, thinking about it. Uh, we have a lot going on at the office today. If we don't give it away today, we will be giving it away tomorrow, Donnie. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, he's probably just thinking of a good promo for it. All right, guys, we are going to record and randomize. What's going on, guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today we have 83 Tops Baseball Wax Pack 170. <clears throat> Shout out to Scott D for uh, getting this pack moving. Uh, it was a little towards the back of the shoot, uh, but he asked for it, so we're breaking it. Uh, let's get rolling. All right, we got a seven. One. Two. Come on, two. Come on, there we go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're one behind. Seven. There it is, seven. All right, so we got our list. Here we go. All right, it's on the big board, so we're gonna switch it back. All right, guys, let's get to breaking. Scott D, you got the top card under the gum. If there are any extra cards in this break, they will go to Scott first and then down. So this is another uh, pack where the gum... Oh, no, it's right there. Cool. All right, awesome. All right, <clears throat> card number one, we have Carl Yastrzemski for Scott D. There you go, Scott. <clears throat> Card number two, we have Dickie Knowles. For Ryan Vogel. Spot number three, we have Britt Burns for Scott D. So guys, uh, I'm going to talk about it again tomorrow. So, I listened to Nelson last night. Mikey was uh, recommending it um, amongst other uh, bands and uh, musicians from um, his time period. <laughs> um, and, you know, Nelson wasn't too bad. I, uh, I couldn't, like, rock to it. But, um, you know, I'd listen to it again if I'm trying to relax, reading a book maybe. Uh, spot number four for Russ, we have Dale Murphy. There you go, Russ. Yeah, so Nelson wasn't too bad. Uh, I might listen to it again uh, tonight. Uh, I'm going to crack open a book I bought a little while ago, as long as uh, nothing else uh, distracts me tonight. Ryan Fogel, spot number five, we have Julio Valdez. Spot number six for Russ D, we have Mike Marshall. 
So guys, what's the big hit in a '83 Topps baseball pack? What are we looking for? Uh, Doug, are there any like big rookies in '83 that uh, you know about? Or it's on my head. There you go, Russ. For Tony Quinn, Wade Boggs, Ryan Sandberg. Okay, I don't think I pulled any of those guys yet. But I wouldn't know. I have to go back and check. Uh, spot number seven for Russ. We have Rod Scurry. Sorry, the name would have jumped out if I heard him. Okay. Spot number eight for Ryan Fogle. We have Chris Spryer. Spot number nine for Russ, we have Matt Koff. Kiff? I'm going with Kef. How's it spelled? K E O U G H. That's Keo. 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 What if his first name was Geo? <laughs> hey, yo, I'm Geo Keo. Geo Keo. Spot number 10 for Scott D. Fred Stanley. Spot number 11, and Russ actually has the rest of this pack. We have uh, Johnny Ray. Next, Russ, in spot 12, you have Lance Parrish. All right, guys, we have about 31 people watching. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about? I am a nerd, so do not let me start the conversation. <laughs> or uh, we're going to be talking about uh, Dungeons & Dragons, uh, TV shows and uh, it's nothing wrong with TV shows though. Um, nerdy TV shows and uh, gosh, I had one other thing and now I can't remember. I'm blanking. Pokemon. Uh, Pokemon. Yeah, let's go with that. Pokemon <laughs> video games. Yeah. Uh, spot thirteen, Russ. You have Elias Sosa. So guys, I know there's not thirty one people staring at me for my good looks right now. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what are we thinking about? Anyone finish their Christmas shopping? <clears throat> uh, I have not finished my Christmas shopping, and boy, am I going to have fun this weekend. Uh, spot 14, we have Alan Folks. And spot 15, final spot in this pack for us, we have Bill Allman. Uh, okay, his name is his last name is Almond. I'm sure he invented almond milk. I am <laughs> or positive. Or almond joy. Or almond joy, something. You know, there's just no way <laughs> that you have the last name Almond, and you're not famous for an almond product. Right. He didn't discover the almond, but yeah. Uh, all right, eighty-three baseball pack one seventy. Thanks, guys. All right. How are we looking on our fifteen out of hundred, Dougie? 14 entries. Go. 14. Oh, okay. So 14 spots left. Yep. Okay. I was like, 14 entries? No. Well, that That's been, insane. That would have been one entry off. Yeah. Great. All right. There we go. All right. I guess we have communally decided that we are here for my looks. I dig it. <laughs> uh, thank you for the morale boost, guys. I, I needed that today. You know, I looked at the man bun today, and I was like, you know, it's not big enough. I tried to do a foof it, but it didn't. It didn't want to floof. You know, I tried, did my best. I think I need to pick up one of those pumps and like pump it up. A hair pump. A yeah. Hair teaser. A hair teaser. 
Uh, I'll talk. I'll talk to the uh, you to know J Five specialists and stylists. Yeah, I was gonna say I'll talk to our stylist team in the back. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, that, that, we'll just... workshop it, guys. Do you want it? Do you want the bun to be vintage blur- breaks blue? Like, what do you, what do we want, guys? I'm here for you. I think it's funny that since you asked, people start talking on the show. No one said a word. I know. So no it, ha- it has to be my looks. That's what we're here for. That's what we've confirmed. Hundred percent. There's no other reason people are watching me right now. Not for the cards, nope. just for the man bun. Clearly. We've established it, and now it's never taken back. And I'm okay with that. I am okay with these results. I am probably going to stream tonight on my gaming channel, uh, guys. And I'm going to go on there and tell them I was breaking today at work. Uh, plug vintage breaks, and then I'm going to tell them everyone was there for my good looks. So all of you gamers watching me right now... You're here for my good looks, not my content. And I'm aware of that. <clears throat> Alright, guys. We have a 78 Tops Hockey Pack 113. 1978 Tops Hockey Wax Pack. Oh, we got work. Mark Ferraris, at least. I like the positive. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. You gotta keep it positive when you're talking to yourself. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, it just get it gets it gets real bad real quick. I mean, we're here. It's just yeah. yeah. I don't want somebody to talk back to you on the internet. Exactly. Doug, have you watched BoJack Horseman yet? No. It's okay. I I was expecting that. Now why not? Well, I'm finishing watching the rest of the series. After I do that. Okay. Then, then I'm gonna watch it. Okay, okay. Yeah. For some reason, the viewers are going down. Haha. <laughs> ah, uh, I don't know about oh, that, Donnie. We've had a nice, strong 31 people admiring this man bun for the past hour. I asked people to talk to me. I was like, if we don't talk, guys, we're all agreeing that you're here for my good looks. No one spoke. <laughs> I take it as a good sign, you know. I, Absolutely. What do we got? Uh, I want to let you know I talked to Michael, oh. so it's good to send back the pack. Gotcha. Uh, put that on the desk. Okay. I'm gonna make uh, two more calls. Um, but here's an exhibit promo start at 7.30. Okay. Uh, it's on top of the other stuff, so just explain, especially for the new folks, about the idea of double dipping, triple sure. dipping, whatever the case is. Um, it's the first 12 exhibits, several Hall of Famers in the front, including a PB Reese. Gotcha. Now, Rob, I knew you wanted some dippage. That's why uh, this is here, you know. Before you even asked, I, I was in your head. Uh, so, guys, uh, before we go over this specific promo, we're going to go over the dippage. Uh, so right now, you can see on our screen, we have a 300 at 100. And a 15 at 100. So if you spend $100 on our site, you will get the $100 worth of product you purchased, and you'll get two spots in those promos. Now, a 15 at 100 means you're guaranteed a prize on top of your product. So that's pretty good for 100 bucks. But we are upping the ante a little bit, guys. So now you're going to get even more dippage for your purchase. So you're really getting uh, the uh, my- mileage for your dollar here. This is a 12 at 50 starting at 7 30 p.m so now guys if you're spending a hundred bucks you're getting a spot in the 300 at 100 you're getting a prize from the 15 at 100 and you're getting two exhibits cards that is some good value if you spend a hundred bucks on our site right now <clears throat> so uh let's go over the cards and uh oh boy is this brutal uh, okay we have uh we have Wee reese card number one all right they gave me a softball there uh next we have uh Ortiz Mimoso, Mimosa. We have Luke Appling. That's an awesome name. Founder of the Apple. Uh, we have uh, Bob Lemon, founder of the Lemon. Uh, man, lots of fruit founders in this uh, pile. We have Hank Boyer, uh, founder of the Boyer. Um, we have Whitey Herzog. Don't know what he's founder of. The color white, maybe? I don't... <laughs> oh my God. Uh, we have Hal Nefrouser. <laughs> he is founder of that name. Because, oh. boy, was that a mouthful. Oh, uh, we have so Gene Woodling. <laughs> I am not touching that with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> That's also what she said. <laughs> uh, we have Johnny Hogan, founder of uh, uh, the Hoagie. Uh, we have Sal Magli. Magli. Uh, I got nothing uh, 
quippy for that. We have Earl Torxer, Torxen, uh, founder of the Torx Corkscrew. Torxscrew. Uh, we have Mickey. Come on, come. On. It's like blending with his pants. I can't. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry. The lettering blended with the pants. I really can't make that out. But it's his name's Mickey. It's not Mantle. Um, <laughs> Founder of Disney World. Um, so this was our 12 at 50. It started at 730. If you spend 100 bucks, you're going to get triple dippage on top of your product. If you don't know what that means, please ask in the chat. I will go over it again. I'm going to give this to Dougie to put in the chat. Uh, it's already in there because Dougie's that good. Uh, top card is a Pee Wee Reese. So I'm going to put that up. I'm sure it's going to go quickly, and by the time I type it up, it's gone. Uh, but let's find out. I saw a lot of chatting. Um, too bad I was reading. <clears throat> I don't. I don't need your comments, guys. Um, uh, but I do appreciate them. Uh, Twelve at fifty. Everyone gets a exhibit. Uh, top card. Pee wee. All right, there we go, guys. It's on the screen. Uh, all right, okay. All right, now to go back up at the comments because I'm I'm interested. I like the positive attitude. Yes. Uh, for some reason, the viewers are going down. No. <laughs> uh, needing some dippage. Multitasking. Looks like some mad money being spent at winter meetings. My Phillies are very much improved. I can only imagine, James. Haha, uh -huh. out on exhibits though. We'll wait in the shadows like Manuel. <laughs> okay, Rob. Uh, Manny Minoso. Okay. Uh, Rob, they have a nice promo going on the 1819 Immaculate Basketball Box. Not sure if you saw it. Bower got the first spot. Dave Vermin. Vermin. Got it, James. In on that strange name promo. Thanks, S10. No problem, Arnie. Trying to keep it interesting. Uh, promo uh, was for last five spots in the box. If you bought the first cinema, you might not be in. It would be a question for late. Gotcha. All right. And thank you, uh, Benson, for keeping us up to date on this basketball bounty. That was a lot of talking. That was. At the end of water. This episode of Vintage Breaks was brought to you by H2O. Mm -hmm. Get hydrated. All right. <clears throat> um, all right, let's pull up the list. My favorite uh, is like on Facebook or stuff, and they put it in the H2O, and they're like, oh, it's, all, it's, in, it's on all these chemicals, it's all the poison and stuff. And it's so funny because a lot of people want to go right over their head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, local recording. What's going on, guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. We have a 78 Tops hockey pack, uh, pack 113. We're going to roll our dice and randomize the list and get breaking. All right, we got a five. Nice and uh, easy. We're going to go to our randomizer, and we're going to go. There it is. One, two, three, four, five. All right, this is our order for the break. All right, we're going to go to the main screen for you guys. That's all done. We're going to get this screen fixed up. And I'm going to email the list yeah. <clears throat> real quick so I don't forget. All right, the list has been sent. Let's get breaking. All right, guys. So in a uh, seventy-eight tops hockey, uh, what's our hit? <clears throat> Who are we looking for? Uh, okay, I thought it started. It started last night. All right. Oh, gum came right off. Very cool. All right. Top card for Daniel P is uh, Andre Savard. Bossy? Okay. I mean, 
Rob, you're probably right uh, because uh, I have no idea. Uh, all right, we have Andre Savard for Daniel P. Daniel P. actually has the first five cards in this break. Uh, so next we have Stan Jonathan. Bossy. Okay. All right, we have. Yep, got it, Rob. There you go. Next card, we have Richard Mjolnir. Oh, hockey names. Oh. Mulhern. 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 Yeah, let's see. We got, we, you want me to go with the Gollum? Uh, <laughs> is, that, is that a request, Doug? Uh, Daniel P., we have Richard Mulhern. Uh, next, we have Jim Bedard. Hoisted by my own bidad. Um, yeah, there you go, Daniel. We have Wayne Merrick. For Daniel. Spot number six for Tom O'Connor, we have Dave Schultz, and I've gotten no corrections in the no. chat. No. So you know what that means? Oh man, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa. Oh, okay. Never mind. <clears throat> Rob's thing is just glitching out. I understand, Rob. No problem at he's all. On, he's on plane watching us. Wow, that's not a yeah. Dave Schultz. <laughs> Rob's done this a couple times. I know that's not a yeah. I got that's that's. I mean, what else are you gonna watch on a plane? Then it's breaks. I, I would people watch. But that's just oh. Unless they're sleeping. Then it's boring. I changed the channel. Uh, <laughs> uh, Daniel P. I have a Dean Talafus. Talafos. Talafaus. Talafaus. Final answer. Sure. <laughs> people watching is funny, but some people can't do it. My dad cannot. Like, me, my, my, my mommy will be like, Oh, like, oh, look at that. But my dad will go, oh, where? And turn around real quick. And I'm like, gotcha. Got gotcha. the yeah, whole I head. <laughs> the whole head turn, everything. I understand that. <clears throat> we have a Rick Sailing for spot eight. Daniel P. Daniel P. has the rest of this pack. We have a Bill Smith coming up. And uh, still no Bossy. Or is it Bose? Bossy. I, I know, I know. I was or Bosa. 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 There's your Bill Smith. Oh, that's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Greg Malone. There you go. We have a genie car. And final card in the pack, Gilbert Perrault. So, unfortunately, no bossy here, uh, Daniel, Tom. <clears throat> but uh, some sharp cards. Uh, Ronald, if Maggio sells that. That's just late. In. That's late, yeah. Um, just... Alright guys, thank you for selling out the 78 Tops Hockey Pack 113. <clears throat> Doug, how are we doing on our 12 at 50? 12 at 50 has 5 spots remaining. 5 spots left? Oh, you guys are killing that. Hold on, let me put that on the screen for you guys. Five spots left. 
There we go. All right. Uh, where is Chef when we need him? Went for a triple. Went for the triple dip. Nice, Scott. That's how you do it here at Vintage Breaks. Get that triple dippage while you can, because once that twelve at fifty is gone, there will be no more triple dippage. Uh, Doug, how many spots are left in the fifteen at one hundred? So I can update that. Ten spots left. Ten spots left. And okay. the twelve at fifty now has three spots left. All right. Ten guys, relax. I need to uh, update the board for everyone. <laughs> spots left. And this is three. After this, we are breaking something. All right, there we go, guys. It's in the chat, not the chat, the screen rather. Uh, Dougie, if you could put that in the chat, that'd be great. Uh, what else can we break? We are going to break a 82 Fleer Baseball Pack 98. YouTube Premiere, $10 a month is the best thing. You can download anything, watch offline in case you aren't able to get service. Great for the plane. Arnie, that's pretty cool. I've been uh, on the fence about YouTube Premiere because I have Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and Netflix, so... Uh, <laughs> That's true. Uh, with YouTube Premiere, you can download uh, Vintage Breaks episodes and watch them live. I uh, like that, Arnie. Good to know. Yeah. Um, well, I'll definitely... Uh, I'll probably sign up for their two months for free and see uh, how much I use it. Uh, because, <clears throat> um, you know, if, it's, if I'm not going to use it, I wouldn't, you know. Uh, all right. Let's get this going 1982 pack 98 hmm. um, hey Rob uh, this email is red can you just double check this one thank you instead for your breaking pleasure I have an 83 Donruss wax pack 46. Uh, this one too, Rob, is actually red. It looks like this was broken at the south. Um, so, let's try our luck with the 85 Fleer. Uh, this one too... Huh? So Chris broke it? Uh, they're just, uh, they're red emails. This one said it was south. Yeah. Uh, the other two weren't marked at all. They're just red emails. Um. All right, let's check out this 85 Tops football. <clears throat> Disney Plus is pretty sweet. I know, Scott, I am enjoying uh, Disney Plus a lot. I get to catch up on old, uh old Disney movies uh, that I've missed over the years. Um, if you guys have read Oliver Twist, uh, Disney released a movie called uh, Oliver and Company. It's basically Oliver Twist, but he's a cat. That's a good movie. Uh, it is a good movie. I like to... Uh, Billy Joel's in there. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to show it to uh, my nephew this weekend. I was like <clears> six when that came out. Yeah, I was young. Mm -hmm. uh, not, I don't quite remember how young, but... Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Not th this pack is not a winner. Uh, let's see what this pack holds in store for us. Um, interesting. Interesting. There it is. Okay. Cool. Cool. Football. Game. Perfect. Okay. So we're gonna break this one. <laughs> um. All right, let's put that on the screen. Uh, Doug, if anything closes out, just let me know. Um, cause we are coming up on 8 o'clock. Going to have to give that stuff away. And let's start local recording. What? All right. Uh, soon the whole world will be run by Google and Disney. Amazon will rule with them. Rising customers get Disney Plus for free for a year. I know, Donnie, I am all over that. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to start local recording. What's going on, guys? This is S10 coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today I have an 82 Tops football wax pack 52 for you guys. We're going to roll our dice, get the randomizing going, and uh, let's get breaking. All right, we have a three. I like small numbers. Let's go with the randomizer. One, two, three. You know, I missed a perfectly good um, Tootsie Roll centered lollipop joke. Okay. I just rolled a three. Oh. You never saw the commercial? How many licks does it take to get to the center? Yeah. Tootsie Roll pop. One, a two, a three. <laughs> oh, man, that's a throwback. I, yeah, I. Why? I'm kicking myself. I missed oh, the no. perfect joke. Oh. It's such a shame. I'm so bad. You know, you could have done that while you're doing your, you know, everyone's looking at my man bun. Um, I, I didn't roll a three, though. I know. This is dumb. I, rolled, I just rolled a three. <laughs> All right. Pull some keepers, S10. I will do my best, Brian. All right. We have the order on the screen, and we are going to send this list right quick before we forget. All right, uh, Rob, this is my last pack uh, in the shoot. Uh, I did see a lot of um, lists in the email, though. Um, all right, so I'm going to email this to myself. All right, just collect. All right, we're good to go. Let's get breaking, guys. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Okay, cool. Top card under the gun. Nice. I love it when the gum is already off. <clears throat> Top card for James Phillips. We have Mike, Mike Webster. So, Brian, uh, what are the hits in this pack? Who are we looking for? Uh, Doug, same question to you. It's 82 football. Any good rookies in uh, 82 or... Taylor. Okay. Joe Montana. Okay. Ronnie Lott. Okay. Anthony Munoz. All right. Spot number two for Brian. Uh, we have Glenn Blackwood. <clears throat> Guys, there are some uh, serious memes about uh, Disney ruling the world. I can't exactly talk about the, my favorite one yeah. because uh, it's just not safe. For the the Straight internet, the internet. <laughs> but uh, I'll show you, Doug, when we're done. All right. Uh, it's pretty bad. It's uh, I'd say Mickey Mouse World War Two. Uh, and if you don't get the reference, mm. I'll show you later. Okay. Um, spot two for Brian B. Glenn Blackwood, Ronnie Lott, and Lawrence Taylor. Got you. All right. We have a team leaders card for Brian. Yeah, and then Walmart, you know, they, you know, they're doing their thing. Uh, okay, I was just looking for any of those guys that we just talked about. Spot number four for Brian, we have Fulton Q. Kendall. Spot number five for James Phillips. We have Tom Skladani. Skladani. Skladoosh. <laughs> there you go, James. We have uh, Mark Gastineau. Isn't that what I said? Mark Gastineau. Yeah. No, he's, just, he's, a, he's a good player. Oh, nice. For your New York Jets. 
Nice. There we go. We have a, a Wayne Wilson coming up in spot seven for Brian B. Um, it looks like we have a... I know this is an insert, so it goes to uh, James Phillips. I uh, don't know what it is. Uh, it looks like it's a Saints player. There you go, Brian. George Rogers, bend here to peel back. Okay, so it's a sticker. Uh, collect all the football stickers. Blah, blah, blah. Coming soon. Okay, so we're going to put that in a card saver for James Phillips. There you go, James. I don't believe it's a spot. Let me just double check. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, it's not a spot. Okay, cool. Um, all right, sticky note. James. Phillips. All right, spot number eight, we have Lewis Breden. Breden? <clears throat> Hanging out, you know, after a hard-fought game. Hmm. We have a Bob Boomhauer. No relation to Boomhauer from King of the Hill. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a goddamn, goddamn uh, football player named Army Man. That was awful. <laughs> you did your best. Spot 10, James Phillips. We have Mark Gastineau. Another one. This one, it's a close up on his face. Spot 11, we have Tony Dorsett. Nice. That name rings bells. He is a friend of Vintage Breaks. He is. And this one is for you, James. Spot 12 for James, we have Rick Danmeyer. There you go. Spot 13 for Brian B. We have a Pat McKinley. That was awful. Oh, I am not on the ball today. I have a better Irish accent than that, I promise. I haven't used it in some time. It's rusty. Spot 14 for Brian. We have a Matt Shuhei. Suhei? And uh, the final card in the break for James Phillips is going to be a Nat Moore. Okay. All right, guys, this concludes our 82 Tops Football Pack 52. Thank you, Brian and James, for selling it out. Can I get a, a new shoot? Yeah, okay. Thank you. One second, guys. Uh, yeah, I stopped local recording. Let's fix the screen. <clears throat> yeah, Ryan, uh, Brian, they were sharp. Uh, no problem, of course. One second, guys.
<clears throat> uh, Dougie, what uh, do you believe J Five named his horse after a hockey player? I do not, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Because then, you know, how is he going to call the horse? He can't pronounce the name. <laughs> he'd have to get, like, a native uh, Frenchman to uh, name it, and then he'd be like, Hey, you, horse, come here. I can't say your name. Babidi boopi. <laughs> that is how I imagine J5 calling his horse. <laughs> On the islands. <clears throat> You know, I, I'm i a man of commitment, <laughs> whether I'm right or wrong. And I have a story for you that when I'm off camera, because, boy, was it a, a bad story. Oof. I almost got beat up. All right, so uh, what do we have to break? What do we have to break? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, we're going to go with uh, 84 Donruss, Wax Pack 277. Alright, and Doug, how are you doing on our promos? 12 and 50 still has 3 spots. Okay. 15 and 100 still has 10 spots. Okay. And the 300 at 100 is 214 spots. Okay, so I'll update that. Guys, we're going to be signing off tonight by about 8.15. So if you wanted to close that 12 at 50 before we went offline, uh, you only have a couple more minutes. After this pack, I uh, am going to sign off. Uh, so let's get to local recording. What's going on, guys? You got Slam and Sammy coming to you live from the 459 here in central New Jersey. Today we have an 84 Donruss Wax Pack 277 for you guys. Uh, we're going to get to randomizing, then we'll get to breaking. That is a 10, and boy, do I not like that number. Uh, let's get this typed in the address real quick. That way, uh, if we need to look back at this video, we know what we're breaking. Um, 277. All right, it's on there, and let's go with the randomizer. Uh, Arnie, most likely, um, I will just double check with L, but uh, I believe these promos will carry over. <clears throat> uh, so we rolled a 10, uh, one. Come on, come on, internet. Come on, there we go. Two, three, four, five, Okay, I went too fast. Five, five, six. The internet does not like me. Seven, eight, nine, and number ten. All right, we got James Phillips on top. There we go. We're gonna put this on the big screen. That did not do the thing. Come on. There we go. It's on the big screen. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. Time to email the list before we forget. Very important. <clears throat> because if I don't email the list and Emily has to check the video, she'll beat me with a chancleta. She will. <laughs> I've seen it happen. To uh, Doug numerous times. You know, it's not pretty. It gets nasty. It gets nasty. Emily is all sweet and kind, and then, and then things go haywire. She she breaks out the chocolate, and that's it. It's over. Over. <clears throat> all right. Good luck, guys. What time are you breaking until, Sam? Rob, uh, we're going to be getting off in about uh, 15 minutes. Right after this break, uh, we're going to resolve any promos that sell out, and then uh, we're going to be signing off for the evening. All right, guys, we're starting with uh, the card under the puzzle piece. So, Sam, we're looking for a Don Mattingly rookie. Thank you, Doug. Yes, it's the card that has eluded J5. Really? 
So if you get it, I can actually... All right, hold on, hold on. I can't reveal this pe puzzle piece here. I just need to... All right, we got this. We got this, guys. All right. <laughs> we are going to pull the Don Mattingly. Hold on. There's a Don Mattingly over here, I believe. Listen, Mr. Uh, Mattingly, sir. If I could just uh, pull you out of this 84 Donruss pack while J5 is on vacation, I would be very happy. <laughs> All right. All right, let's do this, guys. We're getting this matting. <clears throat> All right, puzzle piece is going to spot number one <clears throat> for uh, James Phillips. All right, but uh, without further ado, let's get to this pack. Uh, so what happens when you wear a man bun? Uh, uh, that's what happens when you wear a man bun. Females kick your butt. <clears throat> hey, Nick. <clears throat> Everyone kicks my butt, okay? <clears throat> guys, girls... Children of all ages. Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but uh, <laughs> what I'm saying is uh, I'm not a fighter. I'm a pacifist, so everyone can kick my butt. Spot number one, James Phillips. I have Ken Oberkelf. Funny story about me being a pacifist, guys. I actually used to be very violent in middle school, and uh, I chose to uh, make a change in my life. Okay. And uh, I chose to stop hurting people. Uh, so that's why I do that. Well, that's good. Yeah. It was a, a very conscious uh, decision that I made at such a young age. Uh, we have Ken Griffey, not a Don Mattingly, but, uh, you know, we'll take it. Uh, spot number three for James Phillips, we have Tom Seaver. All right, Don, are you testing me? I understand. I understand. You're in this pack, man. I can feel you. Not like that. Uh, so <laughs> there you go. Tom Seaver for James Phillips. It's okay, Nick. I, I, you know, I saw it and I, I realized it was probably that. So <clears throat> cool. Have a great night, guys. Rob G, you do the same. Uh, get to wherever you're going safely, my friend. Spot number four for Stephen Thomas. We have Larry Herndon. Go. Spot number five, we have Ron Hasse. This man, is that metal? His teeth. He got he's got like a metal mask going on. It's okay, I don't judge. I was just. He got. Is he got a girl? He yeah he does. I never understood the appeal of girls. So spot number five, Dan Hasse for Stephen Thomas. Why do you want? metal in your mouth grill. all up in your grill you know <clears throat> i heard girls said and i was like what the yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, like the rapper thing. spot number six for james phillips we have salmon barajos barajas uh spot number seven for stephen thomas we have dave Steib. Come on, Don. Where are you, Donnie? <clears throat> Spot number eight for Steven. I have Jaquan Ajuar. Charlie Moore. You're not a Don Mattingly. <laughs> You're a phony. A great big phony. You know who lives here, guys? A phony. <sighs> If nobody got that Family Guy reference, you can all leave. Like, <laughs> that, I, that was executed perfectly, perfectly with my right hand man Doug over here. Yeah, buddy. Ugh. Wait, why are the why are the viewers going down? <laughs> no, come back. Spot number nine, Stephen Thomas. We have Charlie Moore. Not Tom that anyway. Not you. Spot number 10 for uh, Stephen Thomas, we have Dennis Lamp. I love Lamp. Founder of the Lamp. <laughs> and uh, spot 11, we have another more interesting. They're, uh, they're plaguing us. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, spot uh, 11 for Stephen Thomas, we have a Mike Moore. <clears throat> no. no. All right. They're facing up, guys. 
We're down to our last couple cards. If he's here, he's playing hard to get. Never seen Family Guy, but used to watch King of the Hill, though. Hey, Jeff, King of the Hill is a great show. I loved, uh, I loved that show. I heard they were uh, rebooting it or something, and then I never heard anything else. Uh, spot 12, James Phillips. You have a Gary Roenick. Oh, Tony Perez. Coming up in spot 13 for James Phillips. Spot 13 for James Phillips. Tony Perez. Oh no, I saw the last name, guys. I don't think Donnie's coming out to play. Oh well, I set him up. I put on a great show for Donnie. He didn't appreciate it. I said, nah, kid, get out of here. You're an amateur. I'm like, okay, Donnie. Sorry, Donnie. <clears throat> Spot 14 for Stephen Thomas. We have Buck Martinez. And the final card in the break, guys. Is a Jim Gantner. So, Steven, here are your last two cards. That's a fact, Arnie. They've done so much with that show. <clears throat> and, uh, the, what, Doug, rem, uh, remind me of the creator's name? Seth McFarlane. Seth, Seth McFarlane is such a talented guy. He even, uh, releases um music uh and it's in the old um uh oh my god i'm blanking on names um who does uh brian and family guys sing with when he sings on stage in the tuxedo oh snowy no no, no it's a famous guy. oh 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 Oh, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. So, uh, so Seth, junior, Seth McFarlane yeah. actually sings like Frank Sinatra. It's really cool. Um, anyway, guys, this is your 84 Donruss Pack 277. Thank you. Yeah, if you see a lot of anything he does, even family has a lot of musical numbers that have that style of music. Yeah. But when he does uh, movies and stuff, a lot of times you'll see musical numbers in that yes. style. Yes. In fact, yeah, it's really cool. He sings a Sinatra song in the movie, um, the, the kids' movie Sing. I know. I may have watched that movie a lot, but I will never tell. Uh, all right, guys. Let's see. Do we have any updates on our promos, Dougie, before we sign off? No, no updates. No updates. All right, guys. Five minutes isn't enough time for me to break a pack, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but we've broken uh, quite a few packs tonight. Uh, you know, I'm getting there. Uh, I think season seven, the DVD live skit where all, where they're all on stage and Seth does five minute characters is awesome. Okay, Arnie, I'll definitely check that out. I swear someone took the Mattingly cards out of the pack, and <laughs> Tom, that'd be crazy. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay. Um, yeah. So, uh, guys, um, thank you for hanging out with us today. I know I said it yesterday, but uh, thank you for making the Valley Forge show so much fun. Uh, I had a blast. Uh, can't wait. The next show we're going to is the Valley Forge show at the end of February. Uh, it's going to be awesome. The Valley Forge show is probably my favorite show just because we're in a casino. Um, and, you know, right at the end of the day, get to walk over to the craps table for a couple minutes before bed, after dinner. Uh, you know, take my lunch break, go to the crafts table, yes. uh, you know, whatever. Breakfast and crafts. You and that's know. perfectly normal there, too. So. Yeah, exactly. Uh, they always have tables running, uh, so it's a lot of fun. Um, can't wait for the National. Uh, it's going to be right here in our backyard. It's going to be awesome. Um, I live right down near that neck of the woods, too. So. Yeah, so uh, maybe even Dougie will join us for the National. We will uh, have to see you guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to talk about unless someone wants my opinion on something. Uh, but be warned, it's a nerdy opinion. Uh, don't know if that, 
I just pulled a Zion orange cracked ice from a hanger. Adam, that's awesome. Uh, wow. How much uh, does a Zion orange cracked ice go for? Uh, actually, I could ask Layton. Uh, Adam just pulled a Zion orange cracked ice from a hanger. That's pretty nice. Yeah, I have no idea what it's worth. I'm not sure what it's worth either, but okay. that's a good hit. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, I just finished uh, my calls. I realized it's about 8.15, so probably going to wrap it up, I think, you know, soon for the evening. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, tomorrow we'll be live uh, back on regular time, 4 o'clock. I mean, you will kind of take us till about 6 o'clock when the mm-hmm. star of the show gets here, Mikey. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I told him five, uh, a couple minutes isn't enough time for me to open a pack, but uh, sure. just hanging out for a couple minutes. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm gonna start up some, uh, okay. 300 on the bay, Adam. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice. Yeah. I think a hanger pack's like 20 bucks. Oh, that's awesome return. Uh, if I have if I have to sell a kidney, I will be at the national. Nice, Mark. That's what I like to hear. Don't sell a kidney, but that's what I like to hear. Uh, a grand may be graded, hopefully. Adam, that'd be cool. Um, PSA has a long wait time, so I would probably send it to Beckett. Uh, a couple people in the chat have recommended Beckett for modern. Uh, I personally have never sent anything to Beckett, but um, it's uh, probably a faster turnaround than PSA. Uh, so I would definitely consider that uh, if you wanted to grade it. You only need one S10. That's, you're not wrong, Mark. <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, I, I consider my extra organs as my uh, retirement fund. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I'm in a PSA group. Okay, Adam. Uh, you know, you can always submit it to PSA. Uh, I just know people like to get their modern cards on the bay quickly. So that's why, uh, you know, I, I spoke about uh, Beckett. Yeah, Adam, uh, you know, whatever uh, floats your boat. Uh, it's an awesome hit, though. Uh, I pulled a regular orange Zion worth about three bucks. Ah, uh, Jeff, it's okay. <clears throat> you know, you win some, you lose some. It's all part of the game. If you ever, you know, just want a Zion for your collection, you can always just buy it off the bay or uh, off someone. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, this uh, concludes our show. So the 12 at 50 did not close. The 15 at 100 didn't close. And the 300 at 100 is still going strong. So these will carry over to tomorrow. Uh, I will make sure uh, we have them on the screen at the start of the show. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight, and um, I don't know. I feel like I need an op- a closing line, but I don't have anything. Stay breaking. No, no it's terrible. All right, guys. Well, that's our show. <laughs> Catch, <laughs> you. Catch you later. <laughs>